And good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? Hope you're in a fantastic morning wherever you are <clears throat> in the big wide world. We're back. We're live streaming once again. So hope you guys are doing well. Thanks so much to Turtle the Surfer for the Prime. Thank you so much also to Zombie Lawyer for the 33 months. Thank you so much to Moonsies for the three and Rossin on Twitch for the 20 as well. Thank you so much. So we are back as always. We are streaming, of course, here on Twitch to start off the stream. We will be going to kick a little bit later on, but for right now, at least we are here on Twitch. So let's play Bishop B7. I might go b6 a5 bishop a6 at some point gonna try to get some adoptions today by the way i think i currently have something like 565 or 570 ish adoptions i will obviously check to get that exact number um let me see if i can find that in a second let's go queen c7 here anyway anti-toxic for the eight months as well thank you so much to anti-toxic appreciate it let me figure that out actually eric rosen score um let me see if i can find that let me see um let's say i'm gonna i'm gonna check to see just how many adoptions i have okay 90 percent complete um trying to try to see how many adoptions i have so i want to get a couple of adoptions if possible today um that's a good move actually which i should not have allowed let's go bishop f8 to guard the pawn okay so i have how many adoptions do i have let me see I have, does it say the number? Let me see at the bottom. It doesn't say how many I have, but I think it's 564. Um, so one second, let's go uh, castles here. Sorry, I was looking at the Rosen score on the other other tab. Um, okay, it goes there. Uh, I think I can just go H6 maybe and G6 here at some point. Are we moving to kick later? We will be, thank you JJ Alicia. Thank you so much to JJ Alicia. Appreciate it, thank you for the resub. So probably I'm gonna go G5 at some point if I can. That's my plan at least. <clears throat> hey guard, do you know you got name dropped in one of the episodes of Madam, Se Madam Secretary TV show? No, I didn't. If you guys have a clip of that, I will obviously react to it. So if you guys have a clip of that, definitely pass along. I'm gonna go F5 and peasant, you lose the bishop. Um, we are using, uh, so anybody, anyone who's wondering what I'm using, I'm using this site. I just put the link in chat so you guys can find it. Um, that is related to the Eric Rosen score. I think I, I think this is just a mistake. I just take the pawn. Um, so that, that's what that's what I do. So I take and I just take and go bishop c4, I think, and b5. I mean, this should be very good. I also have g5 here to attack the bishop at some point. I can even just take the pawn on b4, but I think I'm going to go bishop c4 and b5. He goes bishop d3. Logical move, by the way. Um, maybe a very good move at that, actually. Um, wait a second. I miss bishop d3. That's a dangerous move. I think I'm going to go b5, knight b6, knight, knight c4 if possible. Let's go here, knight c4. Have to be kind of careful here to not end up in trouble, but... Um, Novak Djokovic played golf yesterday. He's playing... Now he's playing chess today. I highly doubt it, but anyway, um, good one. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out, I put the link in chat. I mean, someone can count. Um, I don't think it, I can count the number of trophies. Adoption matches, I, I don't know how many it is. It doesn't give me a number. So let's go um, queen b7 here. I could have played king b7 too, maybe. Actually, I should have done that. Let's go knight c4. I can take with the knight on b4 here. This should still be quite good for me. But I have to be a little bit careful how I play this. Did anyone find me in the Tiger Woods game? No, I don't think anyone did find me yet. So a little bit sad, but that's how it goes. So I want to get some more adoptions today, which is a large, large part of why I'm playing uh, Blitz right now. I got some solo raid because I'm just in the mood for the adoption phase. Let's go Queen B6, maybe Bishop B7 back. I'm just going to try to avoid getting checkmated here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go here. And now the Queen and Bishop are very safe. He goes there. Uh, I think I'm just going to go like Bishop E7, maybe King D7. I might just actually do a manual King walk to the King side here. No reason not to. My Rosen score is only four, but I've checkmated with a pawn, so that's cool. Yeah. Okay. I go G5. Now I'm starting to expand on the King side and it's starying to get very scary for my opponent. Queen C2. Let's go here. Guard the guard against the sack. B4 still hanging as well. Um, I think I'm going to go G4, F4. He's getting too low on time. And now I've got H5, F3. He's sort of just getting squished all over the board. Uh, I think I just uh, play H5. There's 95 maybe. Take with the D pawn, of course. I think I'm gonna go rook H6 here. If D5, I just take the pawn, of course. And then I drop back. And I'm kind of misplaying this a little bit, but I still should be winning. Let's go here. Um, What am I doing, actually? Just take and take. Go g3. Let's 
Uh, I missed Queen C1, actually. That's a mistake by me. But I still should win this game if I'm smart. It finds Queen B2. Um, I don't have Queen A7 here. I almost have a way to force a win. I think C3 is better. Goes Queen B3. Now I go here. I threaten to sack the Queen for the Rook. And I threaten to create a checkmate. Let's go uh, here. Bishop C6. I missed that actually. That was a mistake. But I have D4. Go here. And now I think I can just take the Rook. And I made on E1 anyway. And it's all good. Dangerous. Uh, I have how many? I have 67 double adoptions. What is the number, you guys? Those of you guys who went to the site, you can tell me what that number is. Um, but I want to get some adoptions today. Am I sick? No, I'm not sick. I'm just a little bit slow. Um, uh, slow at the start. So my voice, <clears throat> I'll, I'll wind into it. I should actually drink some water. I, I never I never drink enough water. But yes, I'm, I'm not sick. Just a little bit slow here at the start. <clears throat> actually, sometimes, be honest, when I... Um, when I uh, when I start my YouTube recording, sometimes my voice is like this as well, and so it takes me like like two or three times to get get the get the intonation just right at the start. Ah, uh, okay, so let's castle. <clears throat> let's go bishop f five, pin the knight here, and take and play rook e one. Did anyone find me in the golf event? Nobody found me in the golf event. No, you guys. And already right now, now my voice is starting to pick up a little bit. Um, no, nobody found me in the golf event. So as as far as I know, it's still uh, the bounty is still there if anybody can find it. For anyone who's wondering what I'm referring to, basically, I, I was talking about sporting events. And in 2009, I went to the um, I went to the U.S. Open at Bethpage Black uh, for golf. And when I was there, one of the holes, I was Tiger Woods hit his tee shot into the first cut of the rough. And um, wait a second, Queen G4 doesn't quite work. Uh, I guess I'll just go here, maybe. Um, Tiger Woods hit his tee shot into the um, in, into the first cut of the rough, and I was right there with my brother. Unfortunately for that event, it sounds it seems like it's still a thing at, at a lot of golf terms. Um, we were not allowed to bring our bring our cell phones. You had to leave your cell phones in a locker. Um, so you had to leave your cell phones in a locker to uh, to to go go on the course, and and so like I don't have any proof of it, unfortunately. I was hoping that somebody could could find it. Uh, it was 2009 U.S. Open, first or second round. It was the seventh hole. I'm I'm like 99% sure it was the seventh hole because I know it was not a par three. It was a par four. Okay, so I have a good position in this game. I have Bishop E5 here. Um, I could trade B4 also a move. Knight F3 looks pretty standard. E4 looks standard. Let's just go Knight F3. He yelled mashed potatoes. I don't know what you mean by mashed potatoes. But anyway, let's go here. Actually, wait. Now I just blundered. Actually, it's not a blunder. I'm still fine. I can just take. Still should be okay. Wait, so if I take on C5... Is Queen G5 or something? I mean, this looks scary, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, Queen G5 could be a problem here. Djokovic is good at tennis, um, golf, etc. Yeah, but I have the block, I think. Very critical blocking move. I don't have Bishop G4. I'm in trouble here. But with Bishop G4, I should be okay now. Should be okay. So I have 525 adoptions. Okay, that's that's good. That's good to know. Um, wait, I got I got to be very careful with how I play this. Um, let's see. Okay, wait. I, I'm using a lot of time here that I shouldn't be using. Um, Oh wait, is there some? Oh my God, I just blundered, didn't I? What am I doing here? Very, very slow start. And I'm gonna mess up the adoption too. Wait, check. Got knight of four or something even. Let's 
Go here. I mean, I still can maybe flag him. Yeah, why do I allow this to? I just have nothing. Um, why am I so slow also? Uh, somehow I think I'm not actually getting made. Okay, it goes there, but now I have Rook C, C8. I think I'm gonna win this game actually. Look here. Oh, there we go. We got the win. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Wow. That was very scary. We got the win. Yeah, this guy's very dangerous. I need to reset and focus. That was so bad. This guy's actually very dangerous. Thanks for Charlotte Chestnut for the 36 and Spicy Green Ogre for the tier one. Yeah, this guy's dangerous. For, for a 2600, he's pretty good, actually. He might be very young. Um... I don't know. He might be very young. Yeah, that was that was very dangerous. This guy is very dangerous. We'll see if I can get the adoption. What was that? How he lost that? He basically I, he got too slow. But the good thing is, since I already had my nice scare, now I should be able to reset it and uh, turn it all around. Let's go H five and trade, or H four even. I'm gonna go Queen A5 and maybe Knight D7, maybe H4 still move, maybe Bishop H6 also an idea. Um I think I'll just go here, keep it simple. Just E5 maybe. Um I guess I'll go rook d8, maybe just take with the knight. Knight d5 also is an option. He also has knight g5, which could be a little bit annoying here. 10 wins in a row is an adoption for anybody who is wondering. I'll, I'll trade queens, obviously. I'm very happy to trade queens against the 2600 because this, this kid, I assume it's a kid, seems very, very tactical. Very tactical here. Thank you so much to Mr. Sharks for three months, or Mr. Snarks for three months. Let's go rookie eight. Thank you. So, yeah, in East Asian culture, a win is a win no matter how you achieve it. I guess that's one way of looking at it for sure. What am I drinking? I'm drinking my coffee. Ah, okay. That's actually a very good move by him. Hmm. Because I have to go here. Shockingly bad. So go here. Go here, attack the bishop. It goes bishop d2. At least now I can play e6 and create some sort of pawn chain here in the center of the board. Position's not ideal here, but I think it's playable. Okay, c5 is a move. I can also go back to f6. 97 is not a move. I think I'm just going to go. I think I'm going to play c5. It's a little bit risky playing this, but I think it makes some sense to try and weaken the center of the board here. And it goes rook c1. I expected that. Um. What I need to do is somehow I need to reroute my pieces. Like, I think I'll just go back here. Could have played knight f8 too. Go 
goes C4, which of course I also conveniently missed. Uh, I guess I go here. Oh, now I missed A5 too. Yeah, th this this guy's very dangerous. I probably shouldn't be playing him. Let's play Knight D7. What do we do? Uh, I guess I take with the Rook. Cause D5 I can just take, and I'm guarding. Okay, now now I should be fine. This kid is pretty good. I don't know what his rating is or, or where he's from, but he's he's pretty good. I, I can already tell. He's he's gonna be a good player. Um I can play bishop d4 maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go bishop d4, try to create some kind of wooden shield, maybe, some kind of threat in the center of the board. There's Queen C2, which feels kind of wrong, because now I get a blockade and I have C4, like B4, C4 expected that but I feel like I should have some play here like maybe like rookie seven takes and queen f4 or something I could have played c3 too I guess but who cares I mean there, there's some pressure here some pressure on the queen, king side too there's also pressure with bishop e5 okay I just take now I could go queen f4 back because I think rook d4 there's rookie one um queen f4 before rookie one's fine yeah I'm gonna go for it so if he takes I have rookie one and takes and basically the king is stuck so he goes queen d3 okay now I should play h4 of course to fix the pawns okay now I go here and queen h2 and now it's getting scary oh my god what the heck was that I don't believe this Did I just hang a hang a rook what the heck oh my gosh what am I doing There we go. I got him. Jeez, what am I doing? What am I doing? That's so bad. Better drink more coffee. Losing to a 15-year-old kid? Yeah, I'm still going to flag him, but oh, man. Jeez, so bad. And now now, now I think people are trying to understand that what I was saying the other day when I played on each was not, um, was not a troll at all. Like, I am actually not playing very good chess at the moment. Um... I have bishop e bishop f5 of course i should be fine here yeah i think he's 15 years old he, he he's uh he's a cm at 15 he's so bad to compare to some in other indian players yeah there's some indian kids who are like uh strong strong gms or top players by the time they're like 16 17. yeah okay we get rook c7 okay now we're, we're in the same system again I, now this is not good for black but why is the question? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go knight b1, knight c3. I'm gonna reroute the knight here. Yeah, what an awful player, exactly. What what an absolutely horrible player, right? I know. Tell me about it. Um now I can go bishop e5 here, but I like knight c3 to pressure. Okay, he goes a6 logical. I think I'm gonna retreat with my bishop to b1 here. Probably I'll go like bishop d6 or something. Imagine not being a top 10 player at 15. I know, so bad, right? I'm gonna go knight g3 here. Okay, let's see what he does. Um definitely very slow that is the one critique wow he takes that's got to be a terrible move here um I take and go like 92 or 95 also although you could take with a queen too I guess I'll just go here 
Uh, let's just go here on knight c4 or bishop c3. Maybe queen c2 a little bit better, actually, but whatever. Goes there. Okay, rook c2 seems solid enough to hold everything. Holding the knight on d2. Do I know about CS2? I am aware of CS2, but I'm not playing CS2 today. No. But I am aware. Um, I think I'm going to go here to target the pawn and then drop the knight to f1, maybe. I am aware of CS2, yeah, but CS2 is, um, CS2 is, uh, it came out, what, yesterday? This is not CS2, unfortunately. For those of you guys who are looking to watch CS2, that's not, that's not today. Not, not on the agenda for today, maybe soon. Hit the gym. Uh, I know what you mean. I went for a nice morning jog, so I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Let's just say and go C5. I think I just go here and th this 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 game I'm gonna win pretty cleanly first game is gonna be a clean one let's go here and like rook b1 what mouse do I use um I use uh I, I use a uh, Logitech that's what I use still waiting for that Logitech sponsorship I've been using their products for like 20 years and they still haven't sponsored me it's a big tragedy anyway I should win pretty soon now because I have g5 here let's just open it up trade he's trying to hold this position I think I'm actually not worried I think I'm just gonna go here he can take and get the triple stack I don't even care go here maybe knight a5 again he's got the triple stack but it's very very ugly let's go here now I just start pushing the p up the board and effectively black is down two pawns let's keep going c5 I'll probably take keep pushing the p go here why is your rating in the slums <laughs> okay bro cool story did I just blunder I kind of did but I've got this trick with 96. good one I'm gonna go here and rook b8 <laughs> good one also the triple pawns is completely lost the knight is very sad on a4 too go here and rook d8 and rook c6 Go here. And I just I just ignore the uh the, the basically the king side pawns and just push the P. Alright, another win. Let's keep going. One more. Probably I'll move to kick after this game. Once I win this one. Do I think classical chess should be 45 minutes? I think there are, there are pluses and minuses to classical chess being quicker uh, versus current. But I, I've said a few times, I think my general read, um, my general read of classical chess is pretty straightforward. Um, in terms of making the control quicker, I think if there, if it's going to lead to more interest, and by interest, I mean professionals make more money um, and they're bigger prize funds, then I'm all for it. If you're not going to necessarily see that happening, and certainly this current environment with high interest rates and generally companies having smaller ad budgets, um, if you're not going to really be seeing it, I'm not so sure I see the argument for making it quicker. So that, that's my general takeaway um, for anyone who's wondering. Let's drop back and go knight f6. Why do I like kick better than Twitch? Well, you get no ads. So those of you guys who are getting killed by the ads here on Twitch, you have no ads on kick. So it's it's an ad-free viewing experience for now at least. Um, so you, I would think that people would prefer not to have to watch ads. Okay, let's go c5 here and take. But yeah, I, I think the bottom line as far, for, as far as it goes, it really comes down to a very simple equation of are you able to get more sponsors is there more money in chess by having a quicker time control if that answer is yes then i think it is the correct decision um to have more one second to have more um go here to have more to have more um can't talk suddenly to have more like quick slow rapid or whatever whatever you want to call it if that's not the case however um why did i do this i'll still probably win the game but not happy let's go here and stack What am I doing actually? Why did I do this? One second, I need to focus.
what am I doing here? I have to be very careful. Um, so yeah, so, so to answer that question, of course, as I was saying, I mean, it comes down to that equation. Are you able to get more sponsors because of the time controls or not? And if that answer is no, then I think it's a big mistake to, to make chess quicker. One second, queen c4 looks right. No, there's b3, wait a second. I go bishop f8. I go bishop c5, 96, rook d3, rook d3. I just have to go here. There is, is there 96? There might be some 96 trick here. So that that's the bottom line so for any, everybody who's wondering about that question as i said it comes down to a very simple equation okay i guess i'll trade i mean i don't want to play this game but i kind of have to um it comes down to that equation and what the answer to that question is if the answers are more sponsors then it's definitely a good thing if the answer is that there are not more sponsors and th the status quo stays the same uh i don't think it's a good thing yeah it all comes down to sponsorship that's all that that's really the it's just a very basic equation um Okay, starting to misplace a little bit. Um, let's go G5, maybe start expanding. That allows G4, actually. Wait. Let's see what we get here. Um, uh, that's just a blunder. Okay, we go check check and we take and we win the game all right you guys we're gonna move to kick in a second we're gonna continue trying to um trying to uh uh continue the adoption but i'm gonna move more to kick after this game and we're just gonna keep rocking and rolling go here okay obviously i am winning here just a matter of uh technique just have to play some good technical moves let's go a5 break the chain uh, i think i just take with a pawn why not the bishop on c5 the check probably bishop d4 and queen e3 and queen f2 whoa actually checking queen f3 wins because I, I hold all the checks here I hold the checks let's go here bishop f6 incoming queen g4 also just finished the game too but this should be checkmate there we go there we go we got the win all right you guys so i'm gonna be moving over to kick now we're gonna keep rocking and rolling we're gonna play more blitz try to get two or three more adoptions today before we keep going um so i'll see you guys over on kick in just a second we're gonna cover this, the uh, ai cup as well see you there bye everybody all right everybody we should be back um i will i will make sure that we're back in a second let's go d4 here again um but we should be back streaming here on kick as always good morning chat good morning you guys too um let's just take i'm gonna go knight c3 this time uh we should we should be live though let me double check just to make sure um we are live yeah there we go okay let's go rook c1 multiple ideas here we are alive okay cool let's go bishop f5 plays a6 okay i think i'm gonna go knight a4 here he's got a lot of pressure to deal with suddenly very hard to deal with all these threats twitch to kick here exactly you guys exactly so we're, we're gonna have a fun day we're gonna be playing blitz try to get my rating back get some adoptions we are going to um we are going to uh we are going to, of course, um, cover the AI Cup, Division Two and Division One. Uh, we're going to watch Master Chef. We're going to do more of the speed run today. It's going to be a fun long stream. Goose C four, which is a very ugly move that hangs materials. It should just be GG in a second as well. Okay, takes. Let's go here, fork the queen and the rook. 
Uh, anyone else have to unmute the stream? Uh, I think kick toggles between mute and unmute, um, to be fair. Go here. Gotta stop the bishop from activating with the pawn push. I assume my opponent is a kid, but I don't actually know. Queen E2 might have been better to force him to do something with the pawn, but regardless, it's a great position. I think my opponent is a kid. I, I don't know, to be honest. Knight F3 would allow D4, so I don't want to do that. Um, let's just go here, target the pawn. Queen G4, also an idea. Uh, I think I'll go here, try trade the queens. He does have queen D6, but I mean, I could sack, but even just knight F3 is good enough because D4 I can just take with the rook. And also the rook on C is hanging at the end of all the lines. If I play rook D3, oh, does he have some queen A3 cheese? He does. So for that reason, let's just put the queen here. And if C2, rook D2, queen A3, I just take his queen C1 takes, takes. I block with the queen and the rook at the end. And it should be pretty straightforward. So going to be 6-0 in a second. Let's just go here. If I go queen d3, d4, rook c2 is just winning. So d4, if, if d4, I just take and then I trade and it's a very simple GG. So I'll probably resign here. Thoughts on CS2? I haven't checked out CS2 yet, so I don't know. Just take. Okay, I just need to make sure d4 is not a problem. And I think if I take with the queen... D4, knight D4, queen G5, E4 should be good, but actually it's a little bit tricky. So let's just take with the rook. D4, I'll go E4 here. Just closing the center of the board down. E D4 probably also was completely fine. Goes F5. I could just play B4. If I take with the queen, there's F E4. It's actually a little bit tricky. C5, queen check, king H6. I think I just take and go rook c5, and this should be pretty simple. Let's go here, hit the queen, no check, I cover the square. Threatening to mate him with queen d8 and all kinds of bad stuff. I think it's just gg. He goes queen b6, I fossilize him with rook c8 check. If he takes, I go, um, if he takes, I go check, and then I assume this must be winning somehow, but we'll see. There should be a forced checkmate here. Um, I think I just go check and... I'm trying to find the cleanest checkmate if there's a force mate in like three, but I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see the force mate, so I'm just going to take the pawn. The check. And now I think, I think I'll just go check and... Wait, rook g5, there's actually king h7 and I have no mate. Maybe just check 95, keep it simple. I'm sure there was a force mate that I missed in there, but it's good enough. Check. Is this mate? Oh, this is a beautiful. This is actually a force check mate. The beautiful mate. There's only bishop e5, and that's mate. All right, four more to go for the adoption. Just curious how you deal with deaf chess players. There are not many super top players who are deaf. There, there are like one or two that I've that I have played against over the years. Um, uh, I, I, you know, I think main thing, main thing is it's much like playing a regular game. The one thing I've not had to do, actually, never, is I've never had to play a blind player in a competitive game. Um, so I, I guess you could. I don't know if that's if you want to call that lucky or or, or not. But I've, I've never had to face a blind player in in a game. Um, and obviously, trade. But I'm just gonna go knight f6 here. That's the one thing I've never had to do. I've never had to play a, play a blind player. Um, but if you play a lot of turns in the U.S., there are like occasionally the one or two players who are blind who you, who you can face off against. Um, I'll just castle here. I probably should have traded the bishops actually, but whatever. I guess let's go here, attack the rook. Um, how do blind players do it? Basically, the way the blind players do it is they have their... Um, how do I explain it? They've got like their little pocket. It's like they have their little set with like the, is it like the braille on the pieces or how, however you do it? Uh, I'm going to play here, target the pawn. 
yeah they, they have they have like their their little set that they make the moves on it, it would be like it's like a brel oh my god i just hung a pawn for no reason why didn't i just trade right away what am i doing go here hit the queen i mean i'm still okay luckily in this position but still pressure on e4 too i guess i'll go check and like rook d8 okay he blunders check and queen b2 if that's even a blunder which it, it probably isn't because of bishop g4 stupid um let's go here try to trade the queens very very poor for me um but yeah basically they basically blind, blind players who are blind they have um they have their little like they have their little like yeah I don't know how to explain it but they've got their little set that they use to to do it and then they play the move on their board and I think they like I don't know if they I, I don't know if there's a helper who says the move out loud or what happens but it's something along those lines uh I go, I'll go here of course to guard everything so that's what they do there's probably a better technical explanation but I I, I don't know how to explain it um go here whoops I'll just go here and then I, I've just got to get this knight to e5 that's my one hope here go here attack the bishop like if I get rook c8 and b5 I'm starting to get some play here that I probably don't deserve um I'm just gonna go here line it up to b5 trying to attack here I think that's a free pawn I'll just take it yeah now now I'm very much back in the game I think I'm actually completely fine here uh you're talking about uh golf again yeah we're talking about that's uh I just go here I'm still guarding everything Knight guards the pawn and up so I'm very very critical against the double stack threats that hangs a pawn yeah now everything's starting to go the wrong way for my opponent yeah now I have a five I've got a chance I can move the Knight and there are going to be problems on this g3 square soon I think it's 93 okay that's a logical move but I think I just sidestep with like King H8 I'm not worried about any Bishop C4s or anything so my position has improved immensely I, I should be in very very good shape here after Queen A7 just lining up this Knight there's also Knight C3 with a fork I do have G5 here I think which wins on the spot because D's Knights check GG there we go 70% of the way there three more to go who's knight of eight now e4 is a move here I believe um I'm just gonna go rook a e1 e4 is always an option I can play a sure but I'm gonna go a3 maybe b4 gotta get your mojo going yeah, yeah I'm trying to get back to uh to like 30 3200 if I can um this gives me h3 g3 hangs piece so of course I play h3 Do I have a favorite match in my career? I mean, there are many games that I've played. I think I think some of the games against Magus have been pretty memorable. Um, I don't know if there's any specific one that I would say. I'm going to go back, just put my piece a little bit closer to the king here, a little bit worried about something. Let's go b4, start to expand. Ah, so he is trying to sack. I had a feeling he was going to try to sack somehow, and I, I didn't see this idea. might have to go knight g5 I don't like knight g5 but I think I might have to go for this so you can't play h6 knight f7 I don't think 
and probably I'm gonna go f4 and just try to blunt the bishop's diagonal let's see what he does there's knight f8 I think I'm gonna go f4 here drop back because now if he sacks I just take and swing the queen over and now I can also create the stonewall Jackson with the pawns in the center of the board so I should be doing pretty well actually I'm doing very well 95 is a huge problem this b6 which is actually a very very good move potentially although actually no I can take and take and there's knight b5 also it was for it anyway I don't think this is good but might be five is a move too yeah I think might be five is a good move I just hit the Bishop here I hit the pawn and he's got big issues yeah someone mentioned talks about new books I mean if you're if you're not a complete beginner I, I would say my stepfather's book is one of the older books that I would recommend there was books by Jeremy Silman who recent recently passed away that were quite good um if you're a pure beginner I think Levy's book is quite good but unless you're a pure beginner I would not recommend it um let's take and go knight c6 here although you could take on e5 why don't I just play knight six right away I'm still better but this is kind of silly to go into um pretty cool to hear Magus releasing a book Magus didn't do any of the work with his book though it was a book that I think was pr pretty much written by David Howe unless I'm unless I'm mistaken go here I've completely misplayed this I'm still better but it's not ideal Magus's book is the one with David Howell it's a book with David Howell that um it, it's like grind like a grandmaster I think is what it's called if I'm not mistaken so um that's that's the book uh I'm pretty I mean it was pretty clear that David Howell wrote it they didn't both write it um I think David even admitted that so it's all good though I mean who, who cares it's still still a book Magus name name is on it um but yeah pretty much I think what it is is Magus helped a little bit but most of the material was done by by David I mean c7 is probably playable here but I don't like it I think I'm just gonna go here maybe there's rook there I could take this pawn it's a little bit greedy but I'm gonna go for it it's a little bit greedy grabbing this pawn Oh, he's trying to go oh wait am I messing this up here Is... hmm go here I'm gonna go like rook d6 I guess be a little bit careful there might be some knight h4 trick but goes rook f8 that's just a mistake yeah now I just go here I queen and I should never be in danger I can also play queen d7 queen e4 but I assume I just promote yeah I just push the p takes takes and it should be pretty good there's no mate is there queen a7 well what is this I have two queens but I actually don't have a oh no no I just take and I have rook c7 okay so wait a second this is winning for me question is what's the way to win this um e 193 it's actually tricky I think I'm just gonna go here I mean it's not the cleanest way to win but I actually I feel like it's one of the better ways to win this go here oh what's that that's just a blunder I'll still be able to flag him but very very poor Messed that up actually. Very poor. Yeah, I almost messed that up. That was very weird. Why did I do that? Andrew Tang would have saved that, by the way. Um, okay, let's just trade. Go like queen d5, I guess. Or no, let's go queen a5 and bishop f5. That was very, very bad. 
Just d4. Okay, go here, trade the queens, play an endgame. Or not. Wait. Um, what am I doing? Actually, yeah, let's just trade the queens here. I don't care. If it's a kid, he can't be that good at endgames. If we're being honest. Let's go f6. He can't castle because a2 hangs. Let's just trade. Let's go e5, of course. Build a nice chain of pawns. Could have played bishop f5 too, maybe. Trying to figure out how to do this. I think knight b6, knight a4 is a big idea to hit the bishop. Knight a4 is a big threat to go after this bishop here. Because rook a d1. I mean, I do have a5 here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play a5 and attack on the, the queen side here. Try to go after these pawns. Okay, I do have knight a4 now as well. I think I'm going to go knight a4, hit the bishop. a3 hanging here. Goes bishop c1, logical. I guess I'll go here and take. Now he can't play d4 because of knight c3 as well, which is very beneficial for me. Do I know any chess players from Croatia? There are a lot of players from Croatia. Also, for everybody who's just tuning in, we're starting a little bit early today. Um, we will be doing a lot of coverage, as always, of the Chess Champions Tour, the final event of the year. Um, but for right now, I'm playing some Blitz. I think we have the Division 2 with some serious matches, like Fabiano is playing on Draken. Um, I forgot what the other matches. There's also another big match there in Division 2. And, of course, we have Division 1 with the Anish uh, Nepo match, I believe it is. Um, so we still we still have quite a bit of content to, for today. Um I'll go here. Yeah, but that's, I think, a mistake. So I, I'm going to knight c3, take some bishop b5 to hit the rook and the bishop. Matches start at 11, so in about 40 minutes. We're going to get back to our bolt, our bond cloud, or not bond cloud, sorry, our, our Botez Gambit bolt speed run as well. Um, so we will be getting back to that at pretty pretty soon as well. Not not this very second, but soon, I would say. We'll definitely be doing that today. I don't know when exactly. Um. This rook f2. Wait, so if I take and play here. Yeah, I think I'll go for this. Just play bishop b5. Just hit the rook, and then I'm gonna go e4, I think. And knight d2, I just take the pawn. Now let's just take. The two bishops should be better than the um than the bishop and the knight here. Go here, hit the knight. It was knight c5, which looks slightly wrong. Now I go b6 to hit the knight. If rook b1, I just take. Knight e6. Don't understand what my opponent's doing. He's just kind of blundering, I think. Knight f4, I just take the pawn. I'm going to have two, two pawns going up the board, I think. I can also play g5 or bishop e4 first. Actually, bishop e4 makes sense, too. Bishop a3, rook b1 could be annoying. Could also go g5. I think I'm going to go g5 to kick the knight away. Let's go here to hit the knight now. And then I can take the pawn. And, and now I think I'm just winning. Because now I just have two connected pawns on the king on the queen side to push up the board. Let's drop back. Now g2 is also weak as well. Let's just... Uh, I mean, this should be winning. I'm, I'm getting three pawns here on the... Uh, on the on the king side and queen side so let's let's go here hit the pawn go here hit the knight and now i mean now it's just very basic if i can't win this well this is my own fault um go h5 maybe g4 actually g4 is no good okay so let's start pushing the p up the board on both sides here um let's go here Again, I'm kind of misplaying this, I just realized. Let's go here. I have a3, a2. Let's go a2. I, go rook I can also go g3 to... Yeah, I think I go g3, g2. Now I'm pushing the wide people. So you actually can't stop them both, I don't think. And now I just queen, I believe. Just queen and queen, I win the game. Go check. 
Okay, one more for the adoption. Let's go night of three. Uh, my guess would be end games are more about deeper understanding. Kids haven't yet developed that they can calculate. Yeah, the, the the kids are very good at the calculation game. Um, but that's why there is a, like when I when I sometimes joke about playing only end games, but it's it's not really a joke. Um, certainly with like I remember when I was growing up, there are a lot of players like I am or low level GMs who who basically they would when, anytime they get paired against like the ten year old kid, automatic end game, just trade pieces, go into an end game. Doesn't matter, go into an end game. Um. Uh, I guess I'll play Bishop E2 back. Why not? A knight D4. Yeah, it's like automatically just go into an end game. That, that, it's just that simple. Why is he still playing? Because he wants to be adopted. It's cool being adopted. Uh, let's go here. Have I ever adopted Daniel? I think I did adopt Daniel one time, actually. I don't know how I did it, but I, I did adopt Daniel once. Let's go here, hit the rook. Yeah, I, I did adopt him once. Okay, let's see what he does. Goes rook e5. That looks a little bit weird. Um, trying to go rook h5. I think I'm going to go knight e2. See, this is another example where he's trying to go for the big cheese and be super aggressive or super hyper aggro, and it's not it's not there. But see, if I do make a mistake and I like mistime something, I could lose still. Very, very much so. Okay, wait, now there's knight c6. There's also bishop c6. Wait. I don't want to blunder this. Bishop c6. No, rook h5. I think I just go knight g3. Just simple chess. Or knight f. Actually, knight f4 also. Actually, I kind of like knight f4 more because now there's no trade. If I go knight g3, knight g3 and he takes, there's still some issues on the h file. But now he doesn't even get the rook to h file and there's a lot of pressure on this diagonal. And he doesn't have rook h5, of course, because d's knights cut, cut off the squares for the rook. List of people you've adopted. It's on the Rosen score. I'll give you guys the link once again, so you can you can manually input my username. Um, but there there's the link. I just put it in chat. The Rook C one, of course. Yeah, you can just manually put my name in, and, and you guys can figure it out. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I have a bunch of double adoptions too, which is pretty wild. Not just the, the regular adoption. Goes Rook E7. This gives me Knight of uh, then Rook, Rook C7. Knight C6. I mean, it should be good for me, but it's still not trivial to win. Hmm. Could play F3 too. I don't really like F3, but I think F3 is actually probably a good move to hit the Knight. Daniel appears three times in the adoption list. Okay. I mean, I I I I, I don't um. Don't pay super close attention, but let's go here to hit the rook. I, I basically I'm giving you the link because like I I don't have the um I don't have the wherewithal or whatever the word is to uh, to actually manually look at the list. I'm much better here just because the weak pawn. Again, I'm playing a very positional, straightforward approach. Go back. I could go bishop c4, but this seems good. Um, let's just go like here, I guess. I, I maybe rook d one's better, but whatever. Very nice position with the two Bs. I'm just gonna go here. Pressure on the pawn and Bishop D4. Kids are definitely, th this kid is pretty decent by the way. I'm, I'm surprised he's not an IM yet. I mean, you never know what his situation is like, opportunities, etc. but he should be an IM. He definitely should be an IM. I don't know when he'll get the title, but he's, 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 he's IM level. No doubt about it. Okay, let's go here. Again, let's, go, let's harass the Knights. Okay, now I'm going to take the lane with Rook C7. He's 2100. I mean, if he's 15 years old, his rating's going to go up. Trust me. His rating's going to go up. Now, do I want to get fancy schmancy with Queen C3 and sack the Queen? I kind of do, actually, but I, I don't think it's smart. Not when, I'm in a, not when I'm in adoption mode. So let's just go Rook C3 and Queen C2 and, and line up some threats. Okay, queen c2, knight c6, I just take and take. Who's g6? Okay, I do have bishop c8 here, maybe. Um, yeah, just for the themes, let's go for it. Because I, I want to out... I basically just want to show him who the boss is in endgames. That's what I'm trying to do. Actually, he can't trade, because then he loses a6. This is very bad for black. Okay, it does anyway. I think I just take. And this diagonal is a huge problem. Okay, let's go. 
Queen B5, hit the pawn on D5, hit the knight. Okay, now I'm just up two pawns in an end game. And, um, not even Cagnus Marlson would be able to draw this against me. So I feel very good about my situation. Let's just create the outside juicer here. They create the chain of three. Let's go. Okay, I think I'm going to eventually create the wide peepos again. Yeah, like I'm not worried if he trades because then I, have the, I split the peepos. I have the wide peepos here. Let's go here. Yeah, now, now we've got the wide peepos. He can't stop them both. H5, king e4. Yeah, this is still good. Yeah, I go here. Yeah, and he, he just can't. He can't do it. I'm just going to go here and king c3 and peepos can't be stopped. Here. Again, the wide peepos rule the day. You can't stop them all. Yeah, see, and now I get two queens. Not even just one. I get two. Two queens always better than one. Let's keep going. Actually, wait. Why am I going again? Whatever. I got the adoption. Do I go for the double? I guess is the question. I mean, we, I am playing well. So. Yeah, I got the adoption, but I guess I'll go for 15. Why not? Two queens equals happy days. <laughs> Let's go here and hit the knight. Um, just, I'll go into an end game. Bro, bro wants end games. I'll play end games all day long, all day, baby, or all 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 day long, baby. However, whatever the Scotty one's saying is, I forget what it is. Since poker is apparently in, in, since poker is such a big deal in the chess world, suddenly out of nowhere, go here. Yeah. Go here, cut off the night jumps. I do have D3, D... Wait, do I have D3, D2 even? It's kind of weird by my... Yeah, let's just go for it. I don't know if this is actually... Oh, he's got knight C1, which I missed. Stupid. Very stupid of me. Um, I guess I'll still play D2 and then, like, I don't know, like... Queen d3 or something, and maybe just cast along. Okay, so I trade, of course, so I should castle. And now I get to take the pawn, and I'm guarding at the end. So rook b1 does nothing, because my king now guards the pawn. I'm good old boys, we're drinking whiskey and rye, singing this will be the day that I die. I've got a very good position here also because I've got a three on two on the on the queen side and e4 is a little bit weak in the end game. But yeah, if this kid is 2100, I, I'll just be blunt. I think it's um, whenever he has the opportunity to... Uh, whoa, what happened to my bishop? Whenever he has the opportunity to play tournaments or whatever the issue is, his rating is going to go up very quickly. For sure, it's going to go up very quickly. He missed uh, knight a5, which is actually quite strong there. I'll just go here. Could have played b6 too, but then I was worried about c5. Now, good g5 to stop f4. Could play g4 h. Actually, I'm going to go g4 to kick the bishop back, and now like h5. I could play n peasant here. It's tricky. If I play n peasant, knight e4, I could do it, but you know what? I, I don't. I want to win a nice technical end game, so let's just play b6 and win a technical game. Because now he can never go f4, because after n peasant, he loses g3. Go here, pressure the pawn. The levy was dry. Whiskey and rice, sing, and this will be the day that I die. Daniel's in chat. Oh, I didn't see Daniel was in chat. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool beans. I want to put pressure on his pawn. Like, he can just go back, I guess. Wow, he finds c5, which is an amazing move. Uh, very annoying that he found it. Wow. Yeah, this is how I know this kid's going to be good. Because the moves he's finding this game, or in general, are very high-quality moves. These are very, very good moves that he's finding. Although, actually, here, I guess it's not so great. Because I just go rookie 5 and take. And it's probably just losing. But, yeah. Of course, I play N peasant. I take the pawn on C5. I have a slight weakness on the king side on H5, but it shouldn't matter.
could go f5 i mean i think i'm just gonna start pushing the p on the uh on the um queen side maybe b4 a4 i guess i'll go b4 here oh does he have king d4 here oh wait no i've got f6 in rook oh wow i very nearly just blundered this game away what am i doing i have f6 i'm very lucky yeah i've got f6 and rook d8 ay yeah yeah that was bad okay but now i can go uh 96 i think i'll just check him and go here to guard again the pawns are so fast on the queen side here that it's gonna be very hard for him to survive go check rook a3 of course king f4 gets made in one by 96 let's go here still fighting though he's still fighting admirably uh f5 might be a good move here actually yeah I like f5 because takes takes and and now he's problems with the bishop rook f3 rook c5 takes takes a4 g4 b3 I just win yeah I just win this by one tempo oh I can also just take and that's easy too just a4 b3 very easy Indians are really good yeah this kid will be like 2300 he'll gap like I, I he might even have one of those weird gaps where he goes to 2500 but whenever he has a chance to play some tournaments like against like 22 2300 players his ratings didn't go to like uh his ratings definitely gonna go up to like 20 2400 not even a doubt in my mind no doubt I'm gonna go for a3 b4 something a little bit different this time go for like a minority attack on the queen side yeah do you want to play bolt this is magnus yeah thanks <laughs> yeah let's go h3 okay now this time i'm gonna put the other rook on on um the other rook on uh on e1 so i can play bishop f1 here he has bishop f5 i guess but yeah w once he has a chance to play once he has this kid has a chance to play tournaments his rating's gonna go up for sure because he's, he's playing like the fact that he can even beat me to begin with says a lot about about his um about the level of his play so I do have to be careful when I'm playing him like this is not it's not trivial goes there I, I don't understand that I think I'm just gonna go b5 maybe yeah I don't understand that move at all unless he wants bishop h3 but I just take and go f4 and queen e2 he's looking for some kind of cheese some kind of big cheese here I mean queen c7 looks kind of tricky but I should just have g3 he goes there I mean am I blundering something after g3 it was knight f5 but I think I just have queen f3 and I'm holding all the glue I should be okay here because now I'm pressuring him on the c file too and unless he has some kind of quick mate or quick strike he's just gonna fall apart by miss american pie he goes to h4 but now again i'm very happy because what does this mean i can play queen f4 and force another end game i can also go queen h1 but that looks a little bit dank i don't like queen h1 um yeah when in doubt playing end game just be annoying and playing end game against the kid what i don't know is which way to take here actually that's what i'm unsure of i can take both ways I think I'm gonna take with the e pawn I don't actually know which way is correct but I'll I'll, I'll take play like knight f3 could have played knight f3 right away maybe but whatever go here guard the pawn go here hit the knight um I guess I take the knight it was 96 okay now of course I go 90 uh 95 is a bad move too so here attack the knight I'm gonna go f6 probably I guess I'll go here in 93 to hit the pawn this is starting to actually improve quite a bit for me now quite a bit there okay so I think I go here to hit the to pressure the pawn on d5 permanently 94 doesn't really concern me I think I'll just go here and maybe f3 somewhere to kick his knight out and I'm gonna go f3 to kick his knight away and then I'm gonna go like f5 here 
I mean, he can take, I guess, but he's, he's definitely in some trouble here. He goes G5. I think I'm just going to play like... I'm thinking too long, actually. Uh, I think I'm just going to go G4. Maybe I have Bishop B1. Actually, maybe I even have H4. Okay, I've got to come up with the moves. I, I'm a little bit too slow here. Let's go here. I'm going to try to put my knight on B4. That's my idea, at least. Go here, maybe. Knight B4. Try to put pressure on the bishop here as well. It's a tricky position to play for both sides. I'm going to go knight B4, hit the bishop. Tricky position. Go here, of course. Now there's a lot of pressure on the B file. I take the rook, obviously. Okay, I assume I I can take either way. Um, somebody just take this one though. I'm gonna go H4. Try to start getting aggressive here. Let's take. Go here. Yeah, now, now I should win because this hangs a pawn. Why did I do that? I should not have done that. Check. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, no, I can just take this one. That's what I do, yeah. And now I win the game. There we go. F7, F8, GG. There we go. Next game, four away. Let's keep going. Let's play G6 here. I looked for four hours, but I couldn't find you at Tiger Woods. It's probably just, yeah, it's probably in the archives, or maybe maybe they, they just weren't covering it. Maybe, maybe they just didn't cover a shot at the seventh hole that day. I'm sure somebody would find it. I really was. Or we need three more, three more, four there. But yeah, I mean, it, I, I'm sure it exists somewhere, but I don't, bro, plus one is bad. I know it's bad, but I was struggling to get games and I just want to play chess. I don't care. I mean, the, the, I just don't care. No day off today. No, you guys. I'm a streamer first. I stream. I do all I can. 103 more for uh, 3,300. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. Let's play f5. Let's go here. Trade some b shops. So will probably go bishop f2. Guy's more positional than ta or more tactical than positional. So I, th I thought he would want to keep more pieces on the board. Evidently, I was wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, it's interesting. Castle. I like my position here quite a bit, actually. Very, very pleasant to play. Um, I can go C5 and go F4. I think I'm going to go F4 here. Maybe G5, G4, big threats. Go for the big, big threats. Okay, it goes there. Of course, I'll go G5. C5, D5 looks very good. I can also just take, obviously. But D5 looks good. It was knight four. Now I think I have to play c5 to cut him off. Because he desperately wants c5. He can't take. I'm going to put my other knight on d4 and create some kind of like big threat. We also have diamond hands formation. Speaking of diamond hands, what, what is the market doing today? I haven't looked. Uh, let's go here, I guess, in the knight six, knight d4. Here. Sidestep any weird forks, any tricks. What's going on? Let's see. Market flattish. Pretty flattish, actually. Very flattish. Okay, we get G4. Of course, I'm going to go H5. Go here and Rook H8. Oh, I, maybe I could have even already just sacked on G4, but whatever. Okay, I think... Oh, wait, I can't go A5. I guess I'll go here and maybe A5, A4 next move. I also have knight d4 lurking, or looming, I should say. 
go here. I'm going to go a5, a4 now to attack on the uh, queen side as well. Plays h4, so I go rook g8 here. Takes and now, oof, getting very scary for white. Suddenly, this pawn at f3 is a big weakness. I could just go a4 here too. And then knight f3, bishop g4. I think I'm just going to go a4 and ignore the king side here a little bit. There's also bishop g4. Okay, take. Hopefully, I didn't just blunder something. Take. So now, I have knight f3. I also have rook b3. I also have queen d8. Wait. I can also play bishop g4, maybe. No, then, then he is that. Wait. I think this is okay. I'm just going to take. Just making sure there are no sacks here. That's that's what I'm... Go here, and I don't see it. Because I'm covering e7. The queen guards the bishop. So he goes for the big sack. So of course I take. Takes on, uh, but this hangs a bishop with check. Okay, th this is winning for me. I just have to be smart how I do this. Um, bishop g4 maybe is clean. Bishop g4 rook c6 or something. Bishop d7 also should just be winning. Actually, I'm just I'm just up a rook and a pawn, a rook and a piece here. There's no good reason why they shouldn't be winning here. No good reason. Go here. Okay, and now I now I just sack, and I mean his his king is getting mated here. Everything is opening up, and I'm just gonna win the game. Two more to go for the even. Um, two more to go for the even. Just take. I rook f1. There we go. Two more to go for the even 3200 and 15 0. 305 rows and trophies for myself with 22,000 games. Nice. As Borat would say. Very nice. Very nice. Now let's just take. Just castle. I might try to go for an even 20, honestly. Because 20 feels like a nice even score. It really does. Bok, bok, bok. Double, double adoption is in play, potentially. Yes. That, that's not a, I don't have a lot of those trophies do I though I I, I do have a actually I've got a I, I do have quite a few actually I do have quite shockingly quite a few yeah I, I do have I do surprisingly for the double for the double adoption I have more than I thought I would yeah rook c6 looks wrong uh, I'm just gonna go here and rook up d1 How many, uh, how many does it constitute? I mean, I'll pull it up just so you guys see it. Like, here's my rows and score. Let me change the scene. Um, yeah, you see, you see, you s actually it's still not showing correctly, but you see the double adoptions. I, I can't, I can't count them, but you see the adoptions. I've got 50,000 trophies. So anyway, let's get back to the main scene. Uh, someone can, someone can do the math on that. I'm, I'm too stupid to do it. No one got the golf bounty yet, correct. No one has figured out the golf bounty. No one's found me with Tiger Woods from, from the seventh hole at uh, Bethpage Black. I, that's 67 double adoptions. That's just nuts. Yeah, that's just actually insane. Actually, that's actually insane. That's That's just wild. Okay, I think I'm gonna go Queen C3 maybe I can also take him this should be very bad like my opponent is really struggling here um but you know what I think I'm just gonna take it very smooth and simple there should be another way to play this um 
He's trying desperately to play d4. I think I'm just going to go g3 and Fianchito the bishop, basically. Fianchito the bishop here. And now he can't take, so he loses the bishop on d6 as well. Should be pretty good for me. The golf bounty should be higher than the baseball. It's far more difficult to find. Oh, geez. I should have gone to E2. What am I doing? Should have gone to E2. Why didn't I go to E2? Oh, my gosh. Did I just blunder this? Let's go here. There's also D3 now as well. Like, this is very poor for me. I need to focus for a second, you guys. Because I, I might have just... Yeah, I, I don't know. Why didn't I just go to E2? But I take and I have F3. So now there's knight c4. There's also knight b6. I, I think actually he's misplayed this again. So he can't take. If he goes knight d5, I just trade. Okay, but now I, I have knight b6 and knight c4, and he's he's already missed it. He's missed the boat, I think. Yeah, knight c4, and I, I think I'm just better here. I just go here, hit the bishop, e4, and I'm completely fine again. Just e4, no knight e3s, no knight f4s. Night before, just a3 does nothing. Wait a second. Actually, a3 is not good. So I guess I'll go here to hit the knight. Of course, I'm glad to trade the bishop for the knight because I've got a great knight versus a bad bishop here. Okay, well, I'm happy to go into end games, of course, as always. I think I'm just going to go here in knight d3 and maybe rook e1. Go here, attack the bishop, probably rook e1. I'll go queen c2 and maybe queen c4. And now what I eventually need to do is try to squeeze something in the center of the board. I could play a4, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go h4 here and try to open it up. Okay, now I get e5. I get a protected pass, pass pawn, or I can just trade into the end game. This should be winning with a4. Check, GG. Okay, we got the win. One more to go. Okay, we got the win. Let's keep going. What's what's the golf bounty? It's, uh, I, I spoke about it before, but basically I went to Beth Page Black with my brother in 2009 for the US Open. Um, but at that time, maybe it's still the same way. I, no one actually confirmed or didn't confirm it. But basically, uh, you're not allowed to bring your phones. You had to leave them in a locker when you when you went out on the course um, to watch the action. So like you had to leave your you had to leave your phone um, you had to leave your phone in a locker. And because of that, like as I said yesterday, uh, basically I think it was the seventh hole. Either it was round one, round two, whatever it was. Um, but basically, Tiger hit his tee shot into the first cut of the rough, and he was literally five feet away from my brother and I. But of course. Uh, because we couldn't have our cell phones, we have no proof of it, obviously. Um, so yeah, it was basically saying if anybody could find the footage of that, I would I would give them like 500 bucks. Uh, I'll take with a knight. I don't have to. I mean, he's got bishop c7, I guess, to try and force a draw. But, I mean, he has the two bishops, so surely he's going to try to win. Really, 500? Yeah, we did it because there was also... I, I was talking about sports experiences and how I was at the... Um, I was at... Um, Mm, I guess I'll go here. I was at um I, I was at the the Washington Washington game versus um versus uh versus um USC in 2009. And people were asking what are my favorite like sports experiences, and I was at the uh, wait C5 takes rook D2 rook C1. I don't have a good way through. Bishop H6 maybe. Also, there's also E5 maybe. Actually, no, but e5 rook d1 one second you guys trying to figure this out c5 takes six bishop h6 rook d1 rook e2 rook e1 takes six takes i don't love it i'm just gonna play h5 simple chess and h4 go here so as i was saying i was at the um i was at the game between us usc and washington uh and everybody stormed the field after the game and i put a bounty out if anybody could find me in the footage and, and someone found me in the footage I think it was like a 12 year old kid too, which is also really funny. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just like moving. Maybe I'll go F5 somewhere. Maybe rookie seven and F5. But I have Bishop F4 too. Now there's C5 also. Yeah, I've got C5, C4, so it's getting a little bit tricky. 
Okay, I guess I'll go a five here. Wow, G3 a little bit, little bit shaky. Maybe more than a little shaky. To to create these weaknesses on the on the king side, a little bit much. I guess I'll go here and maybe C5, C4 now. Let's go C5. I mean, D5, I assume I have E5. I don't actually know if it's a good move, though, but whatever. There's Rook F1. Wait, so if I... Of course I take... I guess I'll just go here. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. I'm, I'm moving too, um, too slowly. I'm, I'm actually down a clock here, which is very bad. Because this is objectively a draw. Let's trade some rooks. That's a bad move, too, of course. Shoot, I messed this up. Um, Trying to get a little bit tricky here. Oh wow, he goes for it. Okay, I think I, I think I'm gonna get winning chances here. Um, let's go here. Attack the pawn. I mean, if I get rook d3, I probably win the game. A4. So I assume I. Do I check or do I take first? I assume I check take. Do I have rook a4 here? I also have rookie four bishop c7 actually. Maybe I, this is what I should do here and then bishop c7. And now I think I'm going to win the game. So he has to go back and then he's running out of time. Or wait, he's got rook a6, which I missed. That's a good, actually, that's a great move. Oh, shoot. I didn't, I didn't even see that move. Ay, ay, ay. I did not see that move at all. I guess I'll just go here then. I don't even know what bishop h2 does. It does absolutely nothing. Take and go here. Go here. I'd be very careful. Oh, but he blundered the pawn. Actually, he can't guard because I'm cutting. I'm cutting the diagonal. So now I win. Okay, now I win. I mean, this is still a draw, with perfect play. But who cares? I'll still flag him. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. That's a free rook. Adios, amigo. All right, so let's go over the double adoption. Why not? Yeah, let's go for the double. Let's go for the double adoption. The, those don't even happen that often. That's like once in a once in a blue moon. Triple adoption. Triple adoption. Double adoption. Who knows? It's all the same. We will be covering the um, we will cover the uh, uh, the AI Cup on Chess.com, but just not at this very second. Let's go rookie one. Play a three b four again. This time I might even play knight to f one. Actually, I might even go knight f one here. I think I will actually just just to avoid any weirdness. Yeah, we'll cover it pretty soon. It, it starts in about three minutes, division two at least. I'm gonna go b4 b5 and i'm just trying to play a very simple slow game here that's what i'm doing I'm trying to play simple i'll just start cutting up my food while he's thinking too goes knight h4 um i'm gonna go knight g3 here Maybe B5. The division one starts in an hour. 
yeah after a certain point isn't this just bullying tinder yeah w what was the quote the worst case of cyber bullying in in, in internet history what well, was that wasn't that the saying <laughs> what a total load of crap um I'm gonna go queen b1 and maybe b5 here personally looking forward to regular content again we're gonna do a speed run a little bit later on as well uh, I might do a um I have Bishop about five I might do um what was I gonna say I might do uh I might do a view arena later today as well but we'll see let's take okay now I think I go knight c e2 and like knight d4 I've got a very nice position now I've got the open scope as well have I ever lost an IM um last time I lost an IM in like a, a very a very maybe I play h3 knight h5 maybe I just go bishop f5 there are many options here that actually look very very attractive I think h3 knight h5 looks good but he has bishop f8 so I think I'm gonna go for the classic positional approach to just squeeze the kid let's take now I've got a great knife on f5 I can play rook d1 knight e5 doesn't look quite right I'm gonna hit the pawn on d5 here there's also knight g no there's no knight g7 what am I smoking but I think I just go like knight g3 there's also h4 h5 I think I'm gonna go knight g3 here idea to play knight h5 maybe and really put the heat on the pawn really feels like there should be some way to win here but I don't see it so I think I'm just gonna go h4 is also actually h4 makes a lot of sense to go h5 and just really punish him with the queen I guess I've got h5 he still has rook c8 actually why did I do that h6 um I mean queen c3 looks like a good move actually I like queen c3 to threaten h5 here and undermine the horses because these knights are a little bit passive if I go queen d4 rook c4 takes should be good wait what what am I missing h5 and these knights are very weak my knights are very good oh did I just miss bishop c5 I missed it but luckily I have queen d5 I did miss it uh last time I lost an I am when I was GM was well no I mean you're talking about you're talking about online but like an actual like ranked like a serious classically and probably that would have been oh she was a GM so an actual I am that I lost to I'm not sure honestly I'm not sure it just takes I'm threatening to cactus him with queen d8 and there's no no square there's an ice skater in here as well as the cactus thorn um did I pay this kid before the match yeah thank you guys thank you as always great um great logic much much love my friends much love <laughs> to pay this kid before the game what is wrong with people let's go a4 to guard the pawn <laughs> I think I'm gonna go oh wait queen e6 or queen c2 he has an actual idea that I didn't see so let's use these knights here these knights or jump oh wait I can't go knight d6 what am I doing go here I guess no, no I, I I know it's I know it's a joke probably probably you never know actually in this day and age what what is a joke and what isn't um go here activate the rook um I guess I'll go here f3 is a terrible move by me by the way um Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm suddenly. Oh wait, no, I've got Rook D7 with the uh, Arabiano mate. The Arabian checked me with Rook, Rook D7 is in play. Um. Oh yeah, I think I have Knight G7 and D's knights. Oh wait, no, he's got Bishop B1. I go here and D's knights. Look at D's knights checkmate. The horses are bouncing. So yeah, we're four away. I'll play four more and then we're gonna cover the um we're gonna cover the uh, Champions Chess Tour. That's gonna be the short term plan. After that, we'll probably move on to uh the the um Botez Gambit speed run and we'll probably do an arena is my guess let's go Bishop G4 no this is not Novak Djokovic wait but now I can go D3 he played the wrong wait no he played the wrong order now now he's just in trouble I think I mean I could be nice and play D2 but I, I don't think I should be nice I can also just take the knight and play like queen d4 and castle and I just win the game also 
Um, let's think about it. So if I, if I check him and go D2, knight, knight E2, I'll just take. Keep it simple. Yeah, now I go Queen D4. I castle and I could also play D2, but then he has Queen A4 check. So let's just castle. Still very, very bad. Um, I think I should probably push P, but I'm making this a little bit messy here, actually. He's got E5. This is a little bit scary suddenly. What am I doing? Knight e7, queen a4, king b8, queen a6, c6. I'm probably okay, but I'm not happy with the way I've played this. a4. Yeah, I should be fine. No queen c6, queen a6, c6, and I hold the glue. Go here. There goes a4. I think I can go here and rook b7. I'm just fine. I should be fine. Doesn't mean I am fine, but I should be fine. At least with some precise play. Because once I get rook d8, he always has to worry about this pawn. This way up, it's just a huge cactus thorn. Um, I guess I'll take with the pawn. I don't know. Rook takes is fine too, I think, but I'm going to take with the pawn. I'm just going to go like rook d8, and, and, and basically he's going to have to worry about this pawn for the rest of the game. Did I adopt Dubov? I didn't know that. If I did, I didn't know that. Interesting. I had no idea. Okay, now I think I can just take the pawn. Um, yeah, now I'm just up two pawns. Because if check, I just slide up and my king guards both of these rooks. Okay, now now he's starting to lose the threat. Because now I also have knight f5, but I'm just going to go king c7. And now I'm just guarding both of the pawns. And I'm going to start using the knight soon. Oh, he's got c5, which I actually... I, I missed that. Um, it's a good move. With that being said... Doesn't really change a whole lot with the situation. But what is the quickest? I think I'll just take it with the queen. And I'm just gonna go like h5, I guess. I don't even know if this is a good move, but he still has, he has no rookie one. He's got no actual threats. Everything is pretty much safely guarded here. I think I'll go here, just guard everything. Maybe king b8 down the road as well. I think my idea is pretty simple. I just intend to start pushing the P up the board here at some point. Does rook a4? Uh, ah, he wants rook e4. Okay, logical. I'll still go b5. I'm gonna go king b6. And now I guard with the rook. I have queen c5. I mean, this should be pretty simply winning. Go here. Okay, he goes there. I guess I go... I have rook d4 maybe to hit the queen. Knight still guards the pawn. And knight d5 looks good here to hit the queen. This should be pretty simply winning here. Okay, queen g5. Now I need to be a little bit... Oh wait, not knight c7, sorry. Knight c7 would hang uh, rook c6. So knight b4, guard the pawn. Rook covers the check. Go here, threaten to queen the pawn now. Go here, hit the queen, cut off the check. And now I just make a queen and the double stack rules the day. Or it should rule the day. Trade. Let's go here, cut off more checks. Threatening to queen again. So, I don't know. Everything wins here, but let's play knight d5. Knight c3, and I take and I win the game. There we go. All right, we're three away. Three more away. How old is this guy's literally kid? I don't know. Um, we will be covering the uh, the AI Masters, but the thing is I have a chance to get a double adoption. And that pretty much never happens in modern times because kids are too good, frankly. So I, ha I have a special opportunity right now. So that that's why I'm going to continue going for it.
He's 15. Yeah, he's he's a good player. Let's go here. Squeeze him like a seal. Gear or Nepo? I don't know. Okay, it goes queen c8. Is there an actual threat with bishop f3 or something? I don't see it, so I'm going to play rook c1. I don't see it. Because here I just go bishop f1. I mean, maybe I'm going to blunder some spectacular sacrifice, but I don't see it, so I'm going to go for it. His name doesn't sound Indian. So he takes. So if I take his knight, that's really his idea. If I take knight g2, king g2, check. I don't think this works. Um, but I should use my time. So if I'm wrong and it does work, I just get cooked. But I don't believe him. I don't believe him. No, it goes knight six. Now I go f three, and it's like this is just dubious, very dubious, actually. Can even go b five here. I can also play g four. I think I'm gonna just go g four here. I don't know what queen b. Is he still look? He's still looking to sack, obviously. Wait a second. Okay, so he's still looking to sack on g four. I could just play bishop f five. Queen f two actually allows a sack, which would be kind of stupid. I don't know why I played G4. That was kind of stupid of me. Um, no, I don't like push by five. I guess I'll go G5. I don't. I don't like what I'm doing here. Actually, I'm gonna go Queen F2. Knight G3 logical. I can just play F. Actually, wait. Now there's a four maybe. Yeah, it's actually getting progressively worse because Knight F5 runs into G4. Bishop f5. That's actually a good move that I missed. Um, but I can still take and go g. I'll take and go g4. It's got knight d6, which of course I also missed. Yeah, now I'm starting to play a very poor game. This is going to require a little bit of work for me, I think, to win. Yeah, this is bad. Here, is there knight h4 or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm playing this this one really badly. It goes knight knight e4 okay now at least after queen h2 i hold everything together for a few more moves take here guard the pawn position's improving a little bit it's still not great for me but it's improving of course i go here i can't trade the knights i need to go like I'm gonna go f5 attack the knight probably king g2 or something because now i want to go rook h1 and mate him i also have knight e5 here as well knight e5 queen f4 i mean my position's improved a lot now so now i think my position's actually relatively okay wow he trades this this is horrible now now after queen f4 i should have great winning chances because what, what i basically need to do first step one is blockade any weird stuff here step two is basically to get ready to infiltrate like f6 or e actually i should have just played e6 right away but i'm just going to take and go like e6 f6 everything's very bad for black sarana and caruana already winning in under 10 minutes in division two wow okay well let's go here Okay, I think, yeah, I'm just going to sack the Rook and go E6 and like Queen E5 or something. This, this change should win me the game. I'm trusting my, whoa, he ignores it. Okay, now I go here to line up the double, double A battery. I have Rook C6 maybe. He can't take some mate, and if he takes a Rook, he gets kebobbed by Rook C7, which ends the game on the spot. Go here, line up Rook C7, yeah. I play rook c7 he does have queen d3 actually which is funny I'll just take go here and queen e2 yeah now, now it's pretty simple I just go like rook c7 and 
The whole house is about to close. I also have rook c1, but I'll just go here. Let's go e4, create the chain of pause. Now I'm just pushing p all the way up the board. The p is coming. Let's go check. I, I don't even need to do anything exciting. Just, just win the game with a chain of three. Go here, rook f8, of course. here take the pawn I'm gonna go here and this is winning I made it a little bit trickier than it needed to be but still winning Okay, we got the win. All right, two more to go for the double adoption. At this point, I think he's he's pretty pretty despondent. So uh, I'm just gonna. I actually have not played this setup yet against him. So two more to go. It's all meaningless. GG. Why not? Exactly. Exactly. I agree. Just meaningless games. Doesn't mean anything. Just meaningless. <laughs> Play here and take. It's all meaningless, right? Just meaningless games. Just take and take. Go back. Um, I think I just developed my Knights, Castle of King. I mean, this is all very, very easy to play. I'm just up a pawn here. He's got no issue. I, I have no issues pretty much. And he has all kinds of issues. He's just down a pawn. I'll just take. Actually, he could take with a rook here. He takes with a pawn. I'll go here. Go d5, attack the knight. I mean, I can play c6, but I think even just knight b6 is good here. Now I'm just going to go like c6, trade some pawns. Maybe even just rook c8 is good enough here. Let's take. Yeah, now, now, now it's all... Starting to fall apart really fast here for... Oh, I missed bishop a3, actually. Whoops. As soon as I say that, I blunder, but... Oh, did I just blunder knight, knight a5? Oh my god, I did. As soon as I talk... As soon as I... Oh my god, I just threw this. I don't believe what I just did. Okay, now I'm, now I'm going to have to reset and win this, win this game again. This is pretty terrible. Horrible. I'm gonna have to win this game again. I can't believe what I just did. Why did I play knight before? I, I, I rookie eight and knight c3 was so simple. But I'm way up on clock at least. Um, I'm gonna go here maybe. That gives me rook c3. I thought here. Oh, I also had knight a four and a five there, which I missed. Wait. But now he blunders knight c3. Wait. He just blundered knight c3. Now, now I'm back in business. Terrible game. Very, very sloppy for me. Still probably a draw perfect play, but at least now at least now I should I'm the only one who should have winning chances. I just take. No tricks like knight d7 something. I mean it's a big question whether to take, but I assume I can beat him in this end game, so I'm gonna go for it. here plays h4 so I'll go h6 g5 I'm gonna basically this is where I'm gonna start maneuvering a lot I'm gonna have to start maneuvering a lot.
Okay, there should be a chance to win this eventually. Wow, he finds king e1, which is a very, very good move. I have to flag him here, though. Yeah, now I'm going to win the game, I think. Now I'm going to win the game here. I tricked him. Or did I trick him? Oh, wait, no, it's still maybe a draw. Wait, but I've got a four. There we go. Check and I win. There we go. There we go. Tricky game, but we got the win. All right. One more, one more for the glory. One more for the glory of the double adoption. Let's, we're going for number 68. Going for the 68th double adoption. Let's take and play here in castles. Are we going to get number 68 is the big question. here uh i think e4 is actually a, a pretty decent move here so i'm gonna play it to open up the position might as well go straight for 69 instead yeah exactly um i don't know if g3 is good but i'm gonna play it anyway i feel like i'm getting a little bit careless or sloppy in this game I'm gonna go here, of course. G3, very important move to stop Knight F4 or Bishop F4 in both cases. Um, go here. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a little bit sloppy in this game. I don't know if a double adoption counts as, a, as two, but it's something, yeah. Yarmir Yager, number 68, best New York Ranger of all time. He's not the best Ranger of all time, but he was very good. Give the guy a mercy drop. Apparently, you guys never watched Karate Kid. As they say, strike hard, strike first, no mercy. No mercy. Mercy is for the weak. Let's play Queen C3, idea D5 with a double A battery, but also to play rookie one. And we got GG. Number 68, baby. Speaking of 68, by the way, those of you guys who are familiar with Czech history, you know the reason that Yarmir Yager had number 68 is because um, that's when the Russians invaded Czechoslovakia, just like they tried to invade Ukraine at the start of 2022. So we get the win, uh, a double adoption. Let's watch some games um, in the... I'm going to challenge me. Uh, let's play Unknown Army. Who's this dude? Who is this guy? No name. Someone can tell me if this is a new account or not. Is this a new account or a real account? Uh, let's go bishop g4. Queen b3, interesting choice. Uh, I, I'm going to take and go queen c8. Go here. Yeah, unknown army could be a hype thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go c5 here. Adoption is 10 0. These FMs are dangerous. They can be. Yeah, let's go here, hit the bishop. Probably just develop the knight. I'm just going to jump back to d4 and then castle here. It's an old Fortnite name. Really? Okay. I didn't know that. Let's play a6, b5. It's a very strange position here, by the way, because it's almost like the structure is very weird with this double pawn. I'm going to go. I could trade, but I'm, I think I'm just going to play knight d7, take knight c5, maybe. It's create. Oh, it's created in 2020. Good. So it's, it's, it's a legit good account. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, you never really know, unfortunately, in this day and age. It's kind of annoying to not know, but whatever. Like, it is kind of annoying. I've got 526 adoptions, 68 doubles. Jeez, it's insane. Um, I'm going to go here, maybe 95. Maybe E5 somewhere, too. 95. Yeah, I'm going to go here. I guess I pre-move if he takes. Either way, I pre-move the take. Actually, I kind of misplayed this already. Shoot, I already misplayed this a little bit. Or did I? Wait, no. Maybe I can go here. No, I misplayed this. Shoot, I did just misplay this. I guess I'll go here in c 5 I mean, I'm actually down a pawn, but it's not that bad. Go here in A4, maybe. Let's take. I have 95 to hit the pawns. Let's take. Go here. I'm not worried about the sack. B1. I think I'll go like... How do I do this? Maybe I go Queen B4. Still not worried about the sacks. So I have Rook F8. And rook f6. He goes there. Of course, I go here. Gotta trade the queens off now. If I don't trade the queens off, I'm in real trouble. Because he's gonna he's gonna sack here soon. But now I have to trade. At least now I get I get an end game. So go here, maybe activate the rook. <clears throat> At b4, there's knight a4 too. So I'll go back. Knight a4, knight b2 incoming. Wait, that's a blunder. Knight b2 and knight c4. Now we're back in business. I'm going to get knight a3. We're back in business. Okay. Now it's even material. Now I should win the game. So bottom line is this guy's pretty good, but his end games are terrible. Just like everybody, everybody's end games are when compared to Magnus Carlsen. Let's go here. Hit the pawn on d5. I could take the pawn, but I assume I just want to get active. Like maybe like rook c8 and rook c1 or rook c2. Yeah, like rook a2 looks like a good move to hit the knight. Uh, I could take and play f5 and. Yeah, let's go bishop d3 and then I go like rook d2. So here, pin the tail on the donkey. Um. I'm just going to go rook c3. If he takes, I take and the knight guards the rook. Rook c3 looks right. Then rook... This looks correct. This should just be working here for me unless I'm missing something. Wait, what's that? Wait. Wait, but now... Wait, wait a second. Do I take with a rook or do I... Take with the rook. I think I take with the rook. But now I take the pawn. I've got rook c7. Now I've got rook c7. And now it should be pretty simply winning. He's also got no time. So I just go here. Not really worried. I guess I'll go f4 maybe. I want to just checkmate him. Um. Oh, I also had rook h1, which is winning the rook, but stupid, but still mate. Here, one up. Let's keep going. Go knight f3 here. Trying to go over adoption. This is 527, right? You guys tell me. This is 527, right? If I, if I get there. Uh, who's salty? Uh, I don't know who's salty. What? Something happened? What did I did I miss something? Uh, let's just go. I guess I'll go here in ninety five probably. Yeah. Hikaru and Hans competing for number one. What? Huh? What are you talking about, bro? Go here. I don't know what you're talking about. You make no sense. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm I'm just confused. Okay. Um So go here, maybe bishop c6. Yeah, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. You're all confusing me. Yeah, I'm just super confused. It goes there, I'll go here. I don't even know. I probably should have traded and gone e4, but okay, whatever. I could also take with a queen, but I think pawn takes must be right to open up the lane. I'm gonna go like knight f8, probably. Goes knight c5. That is definitely a mistake. Oh, um, I don't know if it's a big mistake though. If I go b4 e4, I guess I'll go b4. Like e4, I'm gonna take and drop back and try to mate him on the diagonal. Bishop g7 must be right. Okay, this looks correct. Whoa, he takes. Okay, now now I should be in good shape. Um, still tricky somehow. This is not. Maybe I go knight. Actually, no, I go ninety one. Yeah, because ninety six, I just take the pawn. I guard. Yeah, okay, this is very simple. Yeah, now I take it. I'm up a pawn here. I should have basically no danger. Finally, I catch a stream. Pagman, exactly. Um, I guess I'll just go like h four is a move. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go like a three. Why not? Just just consolidate the structure. Maybe a four is a little bit better actually. You know, six logical. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go h3. Play a simple, simple position. Okay, let's go knight f3 here. Maybe queen e5. I'm up a pawn, but it's still not trivial to prove the advantage. But this pawn at c6 should be okay long term. I'm not 100% sure if it's safe or not. Uh, let's just go rook c1. Now, queen e5. Actually, I should just play queen e5 right away. I don't know why I didn't do that, but okay. Now I will go check, trade the queens, and now I should be winning eventually. Depends. Not trivial. I guess I'll go f4 again. Knight d7 was also obviously a move. Maybe I should have played it, but whatever. Yeah, I might have misplayed this very slightly. If I take ninety seven. Me six ninety seven. Oof, this is tricky actually. Go here. Actually, he's got problems with the structure on the king side too. I just realized. I go. E four allows G five. Wait, so I guess I'll go here. I got. I gotta move quicker. I'm too slow. Of course, I just blundered for no reason. This is tricky. I, I'm not sure if I'm winning here. I should be winning, but this is tricky now. Got f5. I mean, I'm trying to create a create a wide peepo here on the edge. I'm trying to create the the wide peepos. I'm not 100 sure if this is actually winning. Tricky, very tricky. I take if f5 I just go back and I have g7 g8 I think this is just winning the king is boxed go here in h7 yeah this is just winning yeah it's just an easy win okay another good win uh eight to go for number 527. So we're gonna do this and then we're gonna move on to the bolts. We're gonna move back to the bolt speed runs. So that, that's gonna be the plan. Um, what's my favorite coffee? My favorite coffee is instantaneous coffee or coffee, I guess as we call it. Play 95 here. Coffee is pretty good. Okay, let's just take Sag only plus one. Yeah, but I mean, it's hard to get games. I, I don't know what you guys want me to say, but it's just hard to get games. How much do I enjoy farming low players? I don't really enjoy it because it's pretty much a game of like trying not to mess up um and like that that makes it very kind of tricky it's because it, that's all it really becomes it becomes a game of like just basically trying not to blunder this castle i'll take he actually i think already made a mistake by the way 
Now I've got an HE4 or something. It's not like it's winning or anything. Oh, maybe it can, can I, I guess I go here. Actually, this is already very bad because now, now he's going to have to play H3. And then I can just trade and go like Queen G5. And the dark square should be really problematic. Let's go here. I could play F5 too. I don't know if I should though. I think I'm just going to go like A6 to stop any weird stuff like Knight B5. And then I'm just going to slowly improve the position. F5 is always a big idea here, but let's go here. So I don't like the way I've played this either. I'm going to go work C8, I guess. Question is, do I go F5 or not? I'm going to have to think about F5 on the next turn. Of course, he finds Knight D4. And yeah, I've, I've totally messed this up. Now I'm going to have to retreat and reset the whole position. I have to reset the bishops, put the queen here, and then just slowly grind. Um, yeah, this is horrible. What have I done? Here and take. Oh, now I just hung. No, I didn't hang anything. It's still okay. Oh no, it isn't okay. Pfft, so bad. I thought I'd rook a, but he's knight takes c6, hitting the queen, and everything's guarded. Oh, now I just I just blunder this too. The heck. I can go bishop g4 maybe. It's the only move actually. Or else I just pfft, so bad. So bad. I still probably can win the game. It's gonna be a little bit tricky now. I guess I go here to hit the bishop, hit the pawn. Oh, that's a mistake too. What am I doing? Oh God, I just had to go queen b6 or something or just take the pawn even. Unbelievable. I can still win this game, but it's going to be very tricky. The only good news here is that it's opposite color bishop, so I have chances. Go here. I'll go here and rook a8 maybe Pfft, so terrible by me absolutely abysmal wow he takes i did not expect that um wait a second here cover the square i have to take i think he misplayed this suddenly yeah, he completely misplayed this. Now it's very tricky, actually. It's very tricky. I think I'm very much back in the game now. So I've got queen g3 check, which is a big threat. Goes bishop d5, which must be losing somehow. Like rook c8, maybe? I can check and take all the pawns, but I think rook c8 is correct. Let's go here. I also check in bishop d4, which is also probably just winning on the spot. What am I doing? But I check and go bishop d4. I can also just take, I guess. If I take king f1, bishop d4. I think I'm just going to take and play bishop d4 here, probably. Oh, he's rook f3, which of course I also conveniently missed as a move. Great. Now I've misplayed this. Now I have to reset to win again. I have to take this pawn. I have to reset it again for like a third time. How do I do this? Actually, okay, let's think. And I can go king g5. It's very dangerous to play that end game. I don't know why I want to play it at all. Was there? Um, I move the bishop to like I don't know a one or something. That might make sense. I've got to move though. I've got to move. I'm too slow. I've just got to move. Takes, I'm fine here. Yep, 
Yeah, I should be winning here. He's got no time. There we go, next game. I was way too slow in that game too. I didn't realize how low I was on time actually. <sighs> very, very bad. Seven more to go. That's the problem with the docks. It's like if I, if I was a little bit slower there, I could have lost on time. I didn't realize just how low I was. Yeah. Yeah, I really didn't realize just how low I was on time there. That was very scary, by the way. Very scary. Um, trade. Play A3, maybe B4. Let's go B4. He'll probably go Bishop F6. There, let's go here. Play Rook C1, maybe Bishop C4. I'll go here and just castle next one. Yeah, it was very scary. Very, very scary. I was like way too slow that game. Not smart at all. But I am way up on clock this game. Um, what am I doing? I'm thinking too long again. Let's just go here. Just trying to move fast. Uh, juicing the rain back to 3300? Probably not. I'm just trying to get my, my 527th adoption. It's a lot of adoptions, by the way. Not gonna lie. That's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of child support. Even with 50 million, that's, that's a lot. It was H5, I'll play H3, of course to stop knight G4. I have 94, I've got Queen A4 somewhere as well. Um is this a Fortnite stream? You guys keep saying is this a Fortnite stream? I don't know why. Let's go here and hit the Queen. I don't even know why I played that. Okay, let's trade. Oh wait, did I blunder or something here? There's no there's no knight of three. Yeah, even this is stupid. We'll go back. Yeah, I'm being really sloppy. I'm, I think I'm gonna force an endgame with Queen B1. I assume I can outskill him in an end game. I don't I don't actually know if I can, but that's just my assumption. I can play F4 here to kick the knight back. F4 is a horrible move, by the way. Should have played 94, 96. There, I guess I'll go here, guard the pawns. Just take. Oh, he had knight takes e3, knight d1. I'm very lucky he missed that cheese. Horrible. Absolutely horrible for me. Um, let's go here, trade some knights. Yeah, I'm very shaky in this game. Very shaky. Oh, I guess here. This feels like there should be some tricks here, like knight c7 and knight a5 or something. I'm going to go here. And bishop d3, maybe. And then knight c5. I and mean, I feel like I'm getting play here, actually. Three, four, five. I also have knight a5 here and then bishop bishop d3, which might be better, actually. So I go here, he moves the knight c3. Yeah, I think this is correct. Hit the bishop. Let's go here, hit the knights. Hmm. Still not trivial. I guess I'll go maybe here, knight c5 now. But now after knight c5, I should be better. Oh, he's got knight d5, which of course I missed, but. A trade. I guess I should be, have chances to win, though. I'm just going to walk the king to d4 eventually. Of course, I take. I can play a4 here. I can also go e4, which I think is correct. And now I, I think I should definitely go a5. I could play f5. King d5 is also a move, but... No, f5 is wrong. Wait, if I go king d5, d3... F5 doesn't work. E5 does maybe work. No, I've just misplayed this. This might just be a draw now. Why did I do this at all? So stupid. 
So I'm going to go for it. Very tricky spot. Oh, uh, wait. What's that? Here. Too slow. There we go. He's too slow. I tricked him. I tricked him. Dangerous opponent, by the way. Very dangerous opponent. Yeah, now I just take it. Now I just win. Okay, let's go here. There we go. There we go. Another win. Very dangerous game. This guy, I feel like, is getting better as we play. Which means he's young. He's a young kid. He's just, he's adjusting to my style. <clears throat> this is not the unknown army from Fortnite. I don't know who this dude is. I don't know who this dude is. Let's put it that way. It goes to F4, which I think gives me Bishop D4. Now he can't ever castle. How much do I lose by drawing? I lose seven points for a draw. Yeah, it's tough. It's not good. But again, I'm trying to get my 527th adoption. Wait, that looks strange. I'll just castle, why not? Queen C2. Okay, so I, I get his ID. He's trying to take with a C pawn, I guess. I could go knight G4 here, actually, which I kind of like. There's knight F2 to fork the king. Of course, I'm going to tickle him and go back. Now there's knight of two and knight e3. Um, this looks very bad. There's bishop h3. So this is kind of reminiscent of my game against Anish Giri, actually. Go check. I think I just go like... There should just be a mate somehow, but I don't see a mate. Um, how is there no four? Maybe I go G5. How's there no mate? Yeah, I think I'm going to go G5 here. Oh, I just blundered Bishop E3. What am I doing? Oh my God. What was that? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I messed this up completely for no reason. I didn't see Bishop E3. So bad. I'm still okay here, but this is... Not what I wanted at all. I think I'm gonna have to go like F5 or something. I could have played GF4 too. Why didn't I just go GF4? Yeah, this is insane. I guess I have to go here and Queen H5 or something. I st I'm still kind of okay here, but it's very, very tricky. I want to go queen h5 and mate him. See what he does. Doesn't look very good for me, but I think it's okay. Okay, it's down to a minute here. Have I ever played Ivanchuk? Um, yes, I have many times, actually. That's a king d2 is a very good move, by the way. Um, or king e2 is a very good move. I'm going to just go all in here and take, I guess. Maybe I just... I think I'm going to trade and go queen h6, actually. This, this is how I do it. Got knight e2, which I missed as well. I have rook a5, maybe? Go here, hit the pawn. Let's see for this. Does give me ninety five also. Um, let's go here. Got rook g one or something. I mean, this is so murky. Murky has become my new favorite word. But wait, now I just take and hit the bishop. Yeah, now now I should win the game. I think because I block with the bishop. I think he missed bishop g four. 
And now the, the bishop's under attack. Pawn on e6. If I get the pawn on e6, I should just win now. If I take, or maybe I just go queen e6. Wait, no, sorry. If I take, he takes a knight. What am I doing? So just trade. So no, I just take. I also have queen h2, maybe. Maybe queen e6 also. This looks correct. Yeah, this should just be winning. Because knight d4, I take, I think. Knight c3, okay, let's just trade, go like, uh, rook c8 maybe? Somehow this is not trivial. Like, I feel like I should be mating him, but somehow his king is just barely safe enough. And now I blunder this too. I'm gonna go here. No, then rook d1. Oh wait, no, there's no rook d1 because I'm, I'm just taking the rook. Oh great, did I just blunder rook e1? The heck am I doing here? I have to do this. I'm gonna have to flag him. It's unbelievable. I can still flag him, but now my play is so bad. Wait, d4? Wait. Here, and I'm winning. Yeah, I block with the queen. Yeah, very, very, very dangerous. Um, let's go here to force the queens off. If I take you as rookie seven. But now, now he can't break the pin. Yeah, now we win. Okay, halfway, halfway to the adoption. Yeah, he, he is pretty good actually. Like I feel like he's learning every every game. He's getting better. He's adjusting to my style, so I'm probably gonna have to start changing up the openings a little bit. Let's take. I'll play Rook C1, hit the bishop. Who is he? I don't know who he is, but he, he's pretty decent. He's probably some kid, if I had to guess. Okay, obviously I'll trade. Takes with a queen. Uh, let's just castle. I want to go like knight e4, knight g5 or something. Let's go here. He's a Fortnite pro. Uh, he's not a Fortnite pro. This is not that. All you guys are saying this is some like Fortnite pro. This is not that dude. This is he is not. That is not him. What he is not him or what whatever the saying and whatever that saying is. He's not him. Is that the saying or am I wrong? Uh, he is not that guy. Yeah, he's not that guy. Exactly. Bishop e6. Shoot, he saw that. That's annoying. Hope we wouldn't see that move. Very annoying. Yeah, all these guys are pretty decent now that I play in the 27 range. The thing that they lack is they, they basically lack the um they lack they lack the general technique in in endgame specifically. So here in rookie one. Like the, the technical aspect of just like random positions is what they lack a lot of. He's a former UW student. This is not him. Okay. He, he is not that guy. This is not him. He is not him. He is not that guy. Let's go here. I want to go knight a4 or something. Let's play h4. Of course, he sees it. Annoying. Um, why did I not move my rook? Um,. Could go knight a4. I could play just rook c1. I think I'm just gonna go rook c1. Or is that just a blunder to b5? Oh my god. <sighs> so bad. Let's go here. Trying to get some kind of lolly made with h6 somewhere. Queen b6. That's a mistake. But, oh, that's a mistake. So now I have 92 and I, I hold the rook. Very nearly just through this game. But now I'm gonna outskill him. According to Rose and score, Dania adopted Duda. Maybe when Duda was very young, it's possible. Uh, question is, do I go to B3 or D3? Both scores are playable. I don't even know which one's right. I'm going to go to... I think I'm going to go to B3 here. There. 
I don't have to trade, actually. I could play H6. I could also take and go into, like, Knight C5. Try as if there's some way to win this. I don't know why I didn't go to D3. I should have gone to D3. Go here. I got to pick up the speed. I'm moving way too slowly here. I want to go Knight C5 and, and win the game. Or H6 and maybe sack. Does it mention time controls? I don't know if time controls are mentioned. Probably not, though, if I had to guess. There, of course, I play h6. Because now queen h5, I can sack the rook and, and he loses. And now, now I think I'm actually close. I'm close to winning here if I'm precise. Like knight c5. Because now there's like rook a3 even. Yeah, I should be winning here with this cactus pawn on h6. Rook e6 not winning. Wait, it takes, takes, queen f7. Oh, it's not winning. Lovely. I can still go g3 maybe. I can also play rook a3. Rook a3 should be winning, actually. Rook a3. I have check. Yeah, this pawn is a huge thorn in black side. Yeah, we're going for the adoption. Uh, this is just GG because I have queen e5. There we go. And it's just mate. Queen b8. Classic ladder. Okay. 60% of the way there. Four more to go. Let's keep rolling. Go here. I think once I got the knight to c5, it was winning, basically. Once once I got the knight... Artemiev drew and made it to the final section, too. Okay, so Artemiev is going to play against Fedosev, the rematch, but Artemiev is going to have to win twice. No guarantees there. Yeah. There's knight c3. Okay, logical. There is knight a5 somewhere. So I'll play knight a5. I don't even know if this is good, but I'll do it. b6 and maybe c5 or something. The main problem for my opponent, he's just way too slow. That's the main problem. He's just way, 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 way too slow. I'll go here, trade some bishops. Okay, I'm going to develop now. Now it's a completely playable position. We are going to get back to speed run very soon. For anybody who's wondering, we are getting back to speed run. We're, we have not, I've not forgotten about it. Uh, so we will be getting back to it. B5. Okay, I guess I'll go here in 96 maybe to hit the bishop. I can still go knight B7 or 96. So many options. Um, don't really like A5. I think I'm gonna go 96 to hit the bishop maybe. Actually, no. I should play A5. Why, why don't I play A5 right away? Let's take with a rook. Like knight D7 maybe. Maybe queen A8. I actually don't kind of I kind of don't know what I'm doing this game I'm moving a little bit too quickly and too randomly go here guard the pawn that hangs a rook I don't really think I should take it though no I'm playing this game very poorly yeah I don't know what I'm doing this game what am I doing Go here. What am I doing? Could go ninety six again, actually. Looks okay. Knight c6 didn't work, so knight c7. I'm just trying to cover the square. He's spending his time here. He's looking for something. It was a5. I mean... I guess I'll just go here. Don't like my position, but maybe I can go knight b8. Oh, no, knight e7. Oh, yeah, yeah, what am I doing? Here... No, I'm playing this game very poor. This is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Uh, let's go here. Do I have e6? No, I guess I'll go here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of moving again. This is very dangerous. Um, let's go here.
He missed Rook C8 97, by the way, which was probably winning. I've just got to move quicker. That's the main thing. Yeah, I'm, I've just got to move quicker. Like Rook E6, maybe. Okay, now I should save it. Yeah, very dangerous. I'm going to save this probably, but this was bad. Um, let's go here, maybe. A take 97 D2 is no good. Okay, I just got to move. It was very dangerous, by the way. Very. Oh, uh, wait, what's that? I think I'm surviving now, though. I think I'm surviving. Well, maybe not. Before. Here. It was very dangerous, so I'm not talking. No, now, now, I, now I should survive. Wait. Here. Now I should survive, because I have 95. Yeah. <sighs> very dangerous situation. Now I win. Yeah, th this game is easily the worst game I've played. Easily the worst game, but I win. Easily the worst game. Is today the adoption run? No, not necessarily. We're gonna get back to speed run, but I'm, I'm trying to get one more adoption. 527 is the goal. Okay, let's trade. I'm gonna go bishop f5 to hit the uh, hit the knight, or hit the rook, I should say. Yeah, do an adoption speed run. That's not really possible, unfortunately, because that requires the opponents playing along. Yeah, that's not realistic. Um, go here, maybe. Queen d1 was pro queen d1 was obviously the best. I mean, why did I put the queen on e2? It's still okay. Have I ever been adopted? I don't think... I mean, maybe when I was much younger, I was. But, I, I mean, as far as I know, I don't think so. Let's just go, like, here. I'm just going to slow play. This was, like, 92 and 94. I also have 94 here. But I think just 92 and 94 makes a lot of sense. There's also 95, which I missed, too. But I could have taken and gone knight f4. That was probably winning, by the way. Ah, bishop b5 was just winning. Let's go... I still can maybe take and go knight f4, actually. Yeah, I think I still can get away with it. Let's go knight f4, hit the pawn. This still should be good. Dan, Danny, Danny has adopted Levy four times. So that's not really very surprising, is it? He's using too much time here. Way too much time. Way too much time here. He's getting he's getting too low. He's down a minute. Unknown X Army. Does it take into account your bulleted options? I assume it's everything. Yeah, it must be. Bro's sucking off his finger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why Nihal's not playing the FIDA World Junior Championship? Because Nihal's rating is too strong. He's just too good. Yeah. I guess Queen E8. Okay, so what am I missing here if I take... Oh, he's some Bishop H4 cheese. Yeah, I guess that's his idea. That's actually kind of impressive. Wait, but... 
Wait, but wait, is that actually good or not? It takes Bishop H4. It might actually be good, but okay, I can't spend too much time thinking. That's the main thing. So when I think too long, bad things seem to happen. What am I doing? I'm just not ah come on, make a move. I guess I'll go here to hit the rook. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking too long. I'm just thinking way too long. Luckily he spent so much time that it's a situation where I, I can actually afford to use a little bit of time, maybe. There maybe. Trying to mate him on h6. Very dirty tack. Now I go back and D's knights are jumping. Just take. And actually, I can take with the bishop, so he loses material. Yeah, now I should just win. Levy has said he no longer wants to become a GM, not worth time and effort. He has zero chance of becoming a GM at this point. It's too late for him. He had a chance. There was a window of time, A, when he first got to IM, and then B, maybe when he first came back, there was maybe, maybe a small window. But uh, all of his content is geared towards beginner-level players. And when you start trying to, like, you gear your content lessons, whatever it might be, towards complete beginners... Uh, generally speaking, the quality of your own play deteriorates very, very heavily. And um, so, yeah, I mean, he has, he, has, he has no chance. Even if he were to, like, drop everything now, no chance. That's not, like, that's not in any way trying to be rude or anything. It's just a simple fact that at some point, your brain, and, like, the neuron, it's like neuron plasticity. And there's a certain point which you just stop improving, pretty much. Um, and it's it, that's what makes chess so brutal. That's what makes chess so incredible. It's like Eric Rosen. Eric Rosen probably should have been a GM at some point, if I'm being honest. Should have been a GM. Oh, he has all the general skills. He's got all, all these things going for him. Um, I'm going to go here in Bishop H3. He's got all these general things going for him, but he stopped playing for a while, and now it's too late for him as well. And it's just like, it, it's it's crazy when you think about it. It's like, I mean, like, those those are two, like, really, really good players. Like, Levy and Eric are very, very good chess players. Um, but there's, like, a point at which it's just, like, it's just gone. It's gonzo, as we say. Uh, I'm going to go here and trade the bishops, maybe. I should have probably traded first. Um, it's always knight g4. There's some kind of weird sack here, too. I think I'm going to go e5, maybe. And take. And there's also knight g4 looming. Yeah. Canty can never become a GM, either. Canty's, Canty's not even at IM level. Just no chance. Canty's another guy, also. For a while, I think he had a real chance of getting to IM. But now now I'd say even for him, it's just too late. You know, so I don't even. I mean, I don't know what the what the right terminology is. If I'm to be honest, but there are just certain things. It's like there are certain ages where if you don't, it's just like it's gone. If you don't get it at that point, it's just no chance. Uh, it's very brutal. Chess is very brutal in that regard. Um, what am I doing here? It's my move. Oh my god! I hung G. Well, I guess I pushed up. Yikes! I just hung G6. I didn't even see it. But luckily, luckily, as with like Magnus blunders. When I blunder, it seems like I still am somehow in the game. Go here. That was ridiculous by me. It's nice for now. Of course, I get the classic uh, bash in here as well as diamond hands formation, and I should be in really, really good shape. Yeah. Yeah, Canty's a great player too. It's just, um, I mean, it's too late for him as well. It's just, it's unlucky, really. I would say it's just very, chess is like very unlucky in that regard. It's like, you have a window of time where you got to get it. If you don't get in that window, it's just, it's gone forever, pretty much. Um, in the meantime, I'm trying to come with some moves here. I don't actually know what I'm doing. So I'm going to go queen off seven, I guess. Takes. Take with a C pawn, of course. It's a very dangerous position for my opponent to play. Um... No, but it's like I'll give you an example. Levy, when he was when he was um, when he was a kid, when he first got to IM, I think he was like 17 or something. If Levy had kept going, then there's a very good chance he'd be a GM today. Probably he would be a GM. But when he stopped, when he was like content and satisfied with that, it, the, the basically from there on, just zero chance, just zero chance. Not zero chance, I should say, but chances went down from like 80 percent or 90 percent to like 10 percent. Uh, I'm gonna go H5 and Bishop H6 here. Yeah. Daniel fonged Ollie Reza three times. Nice. <laughs> Go here, hit the rook. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Let's go here, hit the queen. That's actually really funny. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's really funny. Do I not have a tactic here somehow? Yeah, somehow I don't have good tactics. It's weird. Like, I should be winning here, but I'm not. Six times? 
Oh, Danny boy. Danny boy, what are you doing to Ali Reza? That's so dirty. That's so dirty from Danny boy. Um, so dirty. Let's take the rook. Let's go rook c7. Still some mate threats exist. Yeah, very, very, very dirty. I, I've lost all respect for Daniel Naroditsky after you guys told me that. I've lost all respect for him. I no longer have any respect for, for, for Daniel Naroditsky. I'm so, I'm, I told you guys I'm very proud of that. I've not once have I ever done that nonsense. Not once have I ever done the, done the, uh, done the um, little fawn garbage. Not once, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Never have I ever. Uh, and I'm very proud of that. Very, very proud. What is a Lafong? It's where it's where you intentionally try to cheese your opponent like a douchebag. Let's go D3, D2. Uh, I'm being a little bit over the top, but but that is where you play like they play G6 or G3. I'm moving. You go Bishop H3 or Bishop H6. Okay, one more for the adoption. Let's go 93. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's pretty smart. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Oh, we played C5. I was not expecting that. Um, D4, of course. Go here. I'm in a castle. Five hundred twenty-seven children. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to rival Wilt the Stilt. Let's play H3, attack the bishop. Let's go here. D4. I have knight A4. Gonna have to go a6 okay now i go knight h4 we trade the bishops and he's just gonna have this perma weak pawn this is already very very good for white by the way it's not winning but it's a big advantage here maybe it's not actually i feel like it's supposed to be a big advantage but maybe it's not uh let's go here and hit the bishop I believe knight f4 is correct to hit the pawn Wild. Genghis Khan is rolling in his grave right now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the, uh, Genghis Khan reference. I needed that. I, I need that. Thanks. Was life of P any fun? I enjoyed it immensely. Um, this is a free pawn if I take. Uh, I take take queen c2 bishop d4 is that actually a free pawn or not is a question I'm not sure um I mean it is a pawn queen c2 90 queen c2 95 I'm just gonna go for it yeah I think I have 95 here because now I'm hitting the pawn on f7 twice the knight is not guarded by the rook anymore. This should be good. Also, if he goes rook f8, I have bishop a3 to touch the rook on in the corner. Let me make sure bishop a3 works. Bishop a3. I think it just works. I should have used more time. Maybe. Knight f2, I just take the rook and mate. He can't move the rook without losing the pawn. He sacks, but now I just take. Yep. And it's just queen f7. GG, why not? Body. Yeah. Back streets, back. All right. Checkmate. There we go. All right, get the win. I'm going to use the restroom very quickly, and we are going to continue with the speed. We're going to continue with the speed run, so let me log in with my other account. I could accept um, Unknown Army is still around. Should I play Unknown Army and go for the double adoption? Try, I mean, I did adopt him, right? I did. I could go for the double adoption. Yeah, it's 10-0, right? So this would be 11. Let me check my history. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Let's try to go for the double adoption. Uh, this would be the second double adoption of the day if I can do it. I've only done a double adoption, what, like 69 times? Or 68? 68 times in honor of Yarmir Yager, the famous uh, Czech hockey player. Go E4. Just castle play rookie 8 here. Maybe I'll just go B6, but it should be 7. Get it to 69. 69 lifetime double adoptions, of course. That'd be the dream. 
Problem with the H4 here is he can't really push and he also can't really castle. So now he's gonna have problems um, castling the king to either side. Now I go like, uh, let's go rookie eight. I'm gonna go A6. If he plays A4 now, he's really in trouble because he can't. He really can't castle queen side now. Okay, so he's gonna go king side, which is interesting. Um, go here. I have knight if it's right, but I, I think I want to reroute my bishop maybe. I'm gonna go here on bishop about five, and then maybe G5 somewhere. Go here. Yeah, I see the interview with Piers Morgan. Yes, you guys, we covered it. Um, the we covered it. Uh, let's just say it's something else. That's all it needs to be said. Uh, I'll let, I'll let my YouTube video speak for itself. So yeah, I, it's definitely out there. Let's leave it at that. Not sure why I did this, by the way. Let's go here. Forget about the prize tag. I'm gonna go g5 here and get kind of aggressive. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why. Um, this guy has one million followers on Twitch. This is not a. Um, this is someone who's created the account. Thank you, Kebab stuff for the Prime. Um, this is not the uh, the Twitch guy. Just to be clear, I, I mean, if the Twitch guy is 2,700 at Blitz, the Fortnite streamer is 2,700 Blitz. Like more power to him, but I don't believe this is him. Just to be clear. So. Oh, is this a cop song? Here we go. Good song. It's a cop song, right? Oh, wait. No, it's not. Wait, never mind. <laughs> what am I smoking? It's not. Um, let's go here and take... I want to go knight c5. Maybe I'm just going to go here in d4. Simple chess. Lock the bishop behind the pawn. Again, I'm not playing a super well. I guess I'll go here in c 5 maybe. Ooh, baby, baby. I'm gonna go f5, f4 and just attack him. Very violently with f4. The Dragnet theme was what? Wow, he finds Rook T1. That's really upsetting, actually. He found that. Go here. I'm Knight C5. That's the whole point. Do I still smoke cigarettes? I've never smoked, so I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Um, let's play Rook, Rook here. Okay, now I get a four. Yeah, I've never smoked, so I, I don't know where why you're saying that. Uh, when is Master Chef not for a bit still? I'm I'm gonna try to get the uh, double adoption. I think I just go check. Something should be hanging, or maybe there's nothing's hanging. I guess I'll just take and trade into the end game. Oh great! Did I just blunder? Oh great! I just blundered, of course. Like here, like. There. Checkmate. There we go. All right, next game. Wait, rematch. I think this will be number number eleven, right? It says one zero, but I'm pretty sure this will be twenty. If I if I win ten more, maybe not. I'm not sure. Will it actually be there? I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, it's been a long time since you hydrated. No, I'm pretty hydrated. I mean, my last games, let me check. My last games were all against the same guy, so it would be 20 in a row. I wonder how they calculate 20 in a row. I'm just looking at my history to make sure I'm not insane. It'll be curious to see, because, I mean, it's it's basically reset the score, as you guys can tell. It's basically showing me 1-0 versus 11-0. But I'm kind of curious to see um, if that holds or not. Stream tomorrow? Yes, we are streaming tomorrow, you guys. We, we will be streaming um, here on 
here on kick obviously it's a big match magnus carlson plays maxime vasha the grav maxime has to has to beat magnus twice to qualify for the grand final in toronto or else he won't get to play there he will not be allowed um should not allow b5 and this i'll go c5 why not could have played actually i should have played d5 why don't i go d5 let's go here i'm off to a very very poor start in this game this is not what i wanted to do but i should be better now I can obviously trade. I can also take. I assume taking is correct, just to attack the pawn, use darts for diagonal. USA. I should be better here because I have Atrium Bishop E5. Um, I could go here first and then tickle, or I go here tickle. Let's go here tickle and then H3. Did you think you could adopt Magus as a kid? I don't know what you mean by adopt exactly, but this should be good for me. I mean, if this is not, I mean, I don't even know if I should be taking the pawn here, but I assume this is good. If it's not, so be it. USA. Oh, I can actually take the pawn, which I didn't see. I guess I'll check. Um, I have Rook C1. I think Rook C1's... Wait, Rook, yeah, Rook C1 looks like a good move. Just making sure everything's guarded here. If he takes, I just take, take, take. And I assume that's winning. I don't actually know if it's winning for sure. I mean, I could have also traded and played Rook C1, but who cares? I'll pre-move in case he takes. It's a safe pre-move. Goes there, which looks highly suspicious to me. Um, yeah, this, this should be very bad. There are too many weaknesses everywhere for Black here. What time is your streaming record? I've done two 24-hour streams in the past. My, I, I'm guessing that the longest was about 24-30ish, maybe. But I honestly don't know for sure. Let's go check. I mean, I the, but my longest was was a little over 24 hours. I think I take. Cause check here, check here, takes. I've rook g4 and queen g7 mate. go um i could play rook c7 which is an interesting cheeky move here actually rook c7 is very cheeky rook c7 it's a very cheeky move because if takes i made him and if he checks i come up and i'm trying to actually sack on f7 i think this is just winning for me he's got no time either yeah and he can't block with the rooks i trade check and then he gets mated on the back rank Yeah, it's just winning. So we're going for number 69 in terms of the double adoptions. We'll see if we can get it. Don't doesn't your brain fry playing hours of blitz? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Trying to get the double adoption. Going for number 69. We're at 68 right now. Play f5, why not? Now I'll take and play like knight f6, I guess. Queen a5, of course, d6, all very standard stuff here. Go here, hit the hit the juicer. Very, very happy with this opening, by the way. This is exactly how you want the beef eater to play out. Go here. Go here, of course, guard the knight. Very, very pleasant position. Uh, double adoption, I've done it 68 times. So that's why you guys are probably wondering, like, what's the big deal? I've done it 68 times and trying to go for number 69. Because 69 would be very nice, of course. Ninety-two. Um, I think I'm just going to castle here. You understand that after this adoption, you can't do it anymore, anymore, right? I can't do a double adoption ever again. 
I don't really believe that. No, we're we're still we're still on our way. Well, I'll keep trying double dot people. Uh, I think I should play rook a e8 here. I have bishop a4. I, I I think I should actually play e5. Takes I take, and then there's pressure in the center of the board. If he doesn't play n peasant, I think I'm just much better on the king side. So I'll go here, consolidate the chain. I'm gonna try to trade the queens. No, I guess not. Okay, now I'm now I'm definitely in the driver's seat because this this king side is super super vulnerable. Knight h5 is a massive threat. And I think he's just about to lose on the king side completely. Just losing, outright losing. Just take the juicer. Now I've got knight g3 and look at... What? That's just a free rook. Okay, let's keep going. We're up to 13. Seven more for the uh, for the double. Knowing you. Wait, what? No, what was that? No, I mean, if he resigns another game in like two moves, I'm just going to stop. Because that's not how, that's not right. That's not right, bro. I mean, maybe he clicked the wrong button, to be fair. Maybe. I'm skeptical, but maybe. Yeah, maybe he clicked the wrong... Yeah, he just wants to play with white. Yeah. <laughs> he just wants to play with white every game. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him. Uh, I think I'm going to play h5. Maybe knight fd7, knight b6 here. Isn't this guy a Fortnite player? He's not, you guys. This is some chess player who apparently is a big fan of Fortnite, though. Uh, he must be a big fan of Fortnite to play this play to have chosen this username. But D5 looks weird. I'm gonna go C5 here. Probably he'll play N peasant. I'll take knight D4, bishop B7. Oh, he's some kind of weird Sicilian. Or bishop D4, I guess. Um Bishop D4 is not a bad move, but I'm gonna go E5 and probably like knight B6, maybe. Maybe just Queen C7, Knight D F6, and Rook D8 also makes a lot of sense. Knight B6 was also completely fine. I don't know why I didn't just go knight B6 in one go. I also have knight c5, maybe. Yeah, let's go knight c5. Hit the queen. X. X. Probably I play c4. Maybe just rook d8 first and then c4. I could play e4 here, actually, and just open it all up and make this a big mess. I could also just go f5. I think I'm just going to go f5, e4. This looks kind of weird, though. Why did I do this, actually? Of course, I go e4. Now I've got this massive diagonal to use. Queen b3. I mean, this looks very wrong. Let's take. There's like rook b8, queen b6. I mean, this looks so dangerous. we will go... Um, I think I'm going to go queen d6 just to avoid any weirdness where he gets counterplay. And I'm just going to play rook b8 and... I mean, this should just be terrible for white. There's knight f4 also looming. What is happening in chat at the moment? Yeah, he goes knight c3, but now, I mean, I assume knight f4 is just very strong. Just to hit d3, hit the bishop. Like, he has bishop f1, I guess. But again, this doesn't look right. This looks horrible actually like everything's kind of hanging here for white levy's done 39 lafongs well levy's done 39 of them i guess i've lost what little respect i had for levy too right <laughs> anybody who's done lafongs i have no respect for them ever again plain and simple um <laughs> i'm joking of course don't get it twisted as train arcs would say. Don't get it twisted. Um, okay. Uh, wait a second. What am I going to do? I guess I'll take and go like queen b6 here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, someone's going to clip it. Yeah. But as train arcs would say, don't get it, cli don't, don't get it twisted. 
Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I never really understood it, but that's a pretty funny. That's a pretty funny saying. I'm not gonna lie. Good shot in IG IG two. I don't think this is an X Fortnite Pro. If this is the X Fortnite Pro, I'm sure he'll DM me or something on uh, on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, let's go Bishop A3. So he's actually trying to improve. Yeah, I'm going to update the Rosen score after I get five more wins. We're going to see um, what the reality is. Let's go C4. Go C5. Wow, that's a strange move to me. Interesting move, actually. I guess I'll take. I'm just going to go Knight C3. Keep this really, really simple. Oh, but now I have Bishop B5, maybe, and some kind of weird tricks. No, this is stupid. Why am I doing this, actually? Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I'm just going to... C4 was winning. Oh, my God. I almost just ruined everything. C4 was a fossil when I was losing the game. I, that's why you saw me st stumble there for a second. I very nearly threw everything away. Oh my gosh. Let's go here. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. That was bad. Oh, I also could have taken and gone back. Why did I do that? Okay, let's go here. I'm going to play like 91, 93 somewhere. Okay, I get B4 here at least. Go here. Now I could trade, but I think I'm just going to go Rook C2 to hold the squares. This is actually a very problematic situation too in this game. I don't like my position. But I can go F3. And now he has problems with the Knight and the Pawn. Everything's a little bit loose here. Be aware this guy might be stream sniping too. Possibly. Possibly. I would say it's fairly unlikely, but maybe. But you're right. It, it is possible. I, I, I wasn't really thinking about that. But you're right. It is possible. Go here. Guard the knight. Uh, I, I can't stop. I'm going to go C5 and C6 is my idea here. Try to push C6. Try to activate the towers. He's doing a bad job of stream sniping after 15 losses in a row. True. Let's go after and trade. That's true. Ali Reza adopted Fedosev. Uh, that's not too surprising. Fedosev is a very tilty player at times. So I'm not surprised if that happened. Um... Let's go here. Yeah, I'm not surprised, actually. That, that's not a surprising stat to me at all. What am I doing this game? I think I'm going to go E4 here to attack the Rook. Because E4 is always best by test, as Bobby Fischer would say. I'm going to reroute the horse to F5 or D5 and create a Bastion. But once I get a Bastion, I think I'm winning. Just there. I think I still can play 93 because there's no activation. I cover the G2 square. And now I've got C6. I've got B5. Oh, he's got this, which of course I missed naturally. Back. Should play B5 right away. Go to check. I guess I have to go here. This is actually very tricky some way. Oh, I missed that. Now I... Oh my god, what am I doing? What the heck was that? What the heck was that?
Oof. Mm. Not good. Four, four more to go. <sighs> Wake up. That was the worst game I've played against this guy the whole day. Worst game I've played by far. Not even close. This is a danger, like I said. That's the problem when you go over the double adoption. All it takes is one little slip, and it falls apart. Doesn't matter. He would have flagged. He would have flagged. Wake up. Exactly. Am I playing more than one move at a time? What do you mean? I don't know what you mean by that. Let's go A5. Kick the knight. Get rid of a weakness here. Develop. I'm going to go knight D7 in castles. I've got a better pawn structure at least. Um, I think I'll go E6. Maybe queen E7 and rook B8. Could play D5. We can also go queen B8. Hard to judge. I'm going to go here. Pressure the pawn. I also had H6. I don't know why I didn't just play H6 right away. Go here. Activate the knight. Maybe knight B6. Don't love my position here, but I think it's relatively okay. I don't love it at all, actually, but I think it's fine. Maybe I'll just go here and rookie eight or rookie eight, rookie eight or something. But definitely, I feel like the quality of my play is dipping quite a bit now. I feel like the quality of my play is definitely on a on, on a serious downswing. Go here and trade. Like their pawns hanging everywhere though. Yeah, like my play is dipping significantly. I can already, I can, I can feel it. But I only need to keep it together for four more games with it to get double adoption sixty nine. For anyone who's wondering, I'll put the link here one more time. You can go to that link in chat and find all kinds of wild stats about everybody. Let's just take and drop back. I'm up a pawn here. I'm feeling pretty good about my position now. I think I'll just retreat. Why not? I gave him C5, of course. Stupid. But I have knight D5, knight C3, so it's still fine. Go here. That link looks sus. Yeah, it, it's uh, super sus, you guys, obviously. But that's the Eric Rosen, um, what you would call it, the Eric Rosen uh, table or whatever you call it. Creamsicle is 23 Lafongs. I might have to reconsider whether Creamsicle is going to remain a mod. Uh, that's really, really poor. That, I'm extremely disappointed to hear that. That's like maybe one of the worst things I've heard today. Yeah. That's terrible. Any Anytime I see, like I said, it doesn't matter. You could be Levy, you could be Danya. I mean, whatever respect I have for you, out the window anybody anybody who knows how to play chess does not do the lafong that is just very very that's just bush league boys that's bush league don't do it it's just bush league this is also very very poor for my opponent by the way to walk into this fork um uh, i guess i'll take the bishop why not i have d5 d4 also Ali Reza has double adopted Bordnik. Okay, that's that's not too surprising, I guess. Let's go D5. That that's not surprising. I kind of would expect that actually. Um I think I'm just gonna take so I can drop the rook over to F6. And I also covered D7 with the knight, so there's no rook D7. Goes knight F5. So you see, he's trying to get in here. Um First of all, I could sack the rook. I don't want to. If I take on B3, it looks very sus, but. Funny thing is, I don't actually see a good move for white. It's a little bit risky grabbing, but I, th I think I'm fine. I just go like here. I go here and I just cover up everything. I just cover up the whole whole king. It goes there. C4. I mean, there's. I'm just pushing the P. Just he doesn't have enough play. Um. Okay, he's got some ideas here with like some kind of like rook g3 nonsense. Um, I do actually have to be very slightly careful here. Like, I think b2 and c3 is winning. Let's just go for it. Take. Let's go c3. I mean, let's go check and take. Check and drop back. There we go. Another win. Three more to go. Let's keep rolling. 
Three more. Lafong sounds like French cheese. French cheese. Cheese was French. But I don't even know what. What am I even saying? Let's play D4. Anyway, let's play D4. Good luck. Gotta go have a wonderful rest of the stream. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's trade. Let's go C4. And I see three. I, I, I'm not I'm not even making sense anymore. Just trade and go like knight c3, I guess. And I'll play queen c2, probably just castle. This b5, strange move. Um, I mean, I could play c5. I don't want to. I don't really want to take either. I think I'm just going to go rook f c1. Magnus never lafonged. I was uh, wow. Magnus has never lafonged on his main account. I respect Magnus. I respect Magnus. What a surprise. Magnus is class. What else is new? Um, <laughs> of course, Magnus is like the one guy who's never done it. Yeah. Yeah, of, of course, Magnus is the one guy who's never done it. Obviously, that, that's actually that that's pretty funny. That that's really quite amusing. I got I got to be honest. Um, do I have e4 here? I don't know if I do, but I'm gonna play it anyway. Yeah. If he takes, I just trade, and I mean I've got queen. So this knight on knight on c4 looks kind of dubious to me. I could have traded on d5 too, but I think I'm supposed to play e5 and just play with the structure. Like knight d2, trade the knights off. I feel like long term is going to be some kind of attack on the on the king's side, basically. Go here, just hold the queen. Everything's good. I want to go like h4, g3, h4 at some point. Try to attack. Queen a3. What does that do? I don't understand what queen a3 does. I'm gonna go g3, h4, basically. Go here to stop f6, and then I'm going to h4, h5, I think. Or rook e3 as well. Here. I mean, I feel like I'm doing quite well here. Let's see what he does. Let's play a3. It's knight e5, I guess. I mean, he's just going to play like rook b3 or rook b8, though, and I don't know what I'm actually doing here. Lafonging should be banned. I agree. I, I agree 100%. Wow. Um, or wait, no, wait. I, can I just take... Oh no, he's got knight b8 at the end, so let's go here. That's annoying. He has this knight b8 trick at the end. Uh, maybe I go knight a2 and knight b4 here. Now I'm going to start getting aggressive on the uh, queen side, or king side, I should say. He's too low on time again. So yeah, I'm going to start getting really aggressive over here. I just go h4 not worried oh whoa what was that oh my god i just ah <sighs> yeah yeah what am i doing again oh yeah 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 i'm what am i doing i'm just hanging that <clears throat> blunder oh wait I right, trade and take okay Jeez. okay two more to go for the double I guess he was expecting me to play something else there. I know what his move was. That was a weird sort of brain freeze by him. We're two away. That's all that matters. Two away from the double. You're going to double adopt a Somali? He's... Where is he from? Oh, he's from Somalia. I didn't notice that. By the way, I remember when I was much younger, like probably 18 or 19, I did get an invitation to go play in Somalia. Uh, I turned it down, obviously, but I did get an invitation, which was pretty funny. Um, yeah, the games are what they're plus one. It's pretty rough. Yeah. Why are you bowling this poor FM? Yes. Thank you guys. I'm just playing chess. How's this bowling? 
I'm playing chess, y'all. Why is it funny that I was... Because, like, Somalia is, like, one of the most dangerous places you can go in the world, isn't it? Or am I crazy? Let's play C6 and take... I mean, Somalia is literally one of the most dangerous places you can go go in the uh, go go on this planet. Look at D's knights. D's knights are jumpy. I've got E5 also. Pressure on E4. Pressure on A4. I'm crazy. Okay. Okay. You're correct about the danger. I just remember when I looked at it. It was in the capital. What is the capital again? It wasn't Mogadishu. Um, but it was the capital. Or no, it is Mo Mogadishu is the capital. So it was Mogadishu, yeah. And I just saw it and it was like, it didn't look, it don't, didn't look very safe, y'all. So I'm just telling you what, what I saw. You don't have to agree with me, but yeah. I'm always crazy, but Somalia is dangerous. Well, I, I thought it was dangerous, but everyone's telling me that Somalia is like a, a nice place to go on vacation or something. Let's go here and hit the pawn in A4. It goes bishop h6. I can obviously trade the bishops. Um, I need to be a little bit careful how I play this, though, because it's a little bit dangerous. Um, the wait. Hmm. I don't like my position, actually. I really don't like this. Um, let's go here and trade. Or I just blunder knight f5. Uh oh. This is getting scary. This is getting way too scary, suddenly. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Hmm. I'm just going to go here. Yeah, this is getting very scary. I need to really focus. Give me a second, you guys. Queen G5. Yeah, this is getting very dangerous. Um, so, there maybe? Because this is one where if I blunder, I just lose. So I really need to be sharp. Plays h4. Um, okay, come on, focus. Don't get too low on time. Just stay sharp. This is wrong. I mean, I could play that, but it looks so insane to go for. What is this move, though? I, I don't even... I don't actually understand what he's playing for, so... I can go here. Yeah, I, I just have to be careful because this is the one spot where it's very dangerous. It's not about... Pr the problem is it's like even beside the pressure, it's just that this is a position where if I blunder, I just lose. So even though I have the time edge, it's not a flagging situation. So I have to make sure that I don't allow any silly tactics um, because otherwise I'm in trouble. A lot of positions I can be like uh, one tact away from being in trouble, but I still know that I can probably flag him at the end of the day. Um, it goes there. Okay, so let's go, I don't know, something. Maybe like... Right back. I don't like B3. I think it's a bad move. Like, I'm going to go like... Um, what am I doing? Just move. Just move, dude. Just move. Just stack the towers and go, go for the kill. Why am I so slow? I think I'm just going to go here and really just go after him now. Because I have 94 lurking. Let's go in for the kill. 92, big threat. So I'll take with the F pawn. I could take with the H pawn too, but it doesn't matter. Go here. If I take, there's an H6, of course. If I take. I hope I'm not about to blunder. He goes bishop e4, which is just a big mistake. So I can just sack the queen and take his that's the bishop e4 is a huge blunder. Now I'm gonna win again. I take and I take. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Whoa, wait a second. He's threatening me. Wait. But I have bishop e5. I have knight f5 here as well. I have knight e2. Bishop h8 probably is winning. Yeah, it looks winning. So here... Yeah, there we 
we go. Another one. Okay, there we go. One more for 20. Keep going. Go here. Now I'm going to trade the knight for the bishop. I got exactly what I wanted. Go here. Castles, knight d2. Just castle. I'm going to play a3, queen e2, c4 at some point. Let's go queen e2, rook d1, c4. I could take here, by the way, but I think... Hmm, let's just go for it and play c4, maybe. Try to attack the structure. I don't know why I played this, by the way. This is ridiculous. I guess I'll go h4. I'm going to go here and rook h1. I'm like king g1. Oh, I hung rook h4 too. I didn't even see that. Jeez. Okay. I could trade. I'm going to go h5. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing this game horribly, actually. That's what I'm doing. Go here. I could play G4, but I think that's bad. I think I'm just going to go here. Can't take he trades and he goes rookie five and it's a it's a theoretical drawn opposite color bishops end game. I wanted to take, but I can't do it because then it's opposite color bishops. Unbelievable. I guess I'll go c5 anyway. Because if I trade oh actually I could have just traded, because if I trade I have rook c6 there. Actually, here I could have done it because now now he loosened the square on c6, but whatever. Let's take. I'm still gonna win. Now I'm gonna win because I've got a great pawn structure. I go here and rook c8 and you have to play like rookie one. I'll go here. Now I get the bishop on e4, which is very critical too. Go here. Go here. Bishop c7. I have rook a7. He's got this. So go f4. Do I run to h3 is a question. I think I'm going to run the king to h3, actually. Oh, I could have taken the pawn, too. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm getting really, really sloppy now. I have this and rook c... No, oh, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Check. I have g7. I'm queen with check, right? Yeah, I'm queen with check. Oof, I very nearly choked the last game, but I'm going to get it. I, I very nearly choked this away. I'm very lucky. I very nearly choked it. Yeah. If this isn't mate, I don't know what checkmate is. King c7 is queen c8. King e7, I can do the ladder. There's probably a quick one. There we go. Checkmate. 20 up, 20 down. All right, you guys. I'm going to use the restroom. And good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a fantastic morning wherever you are in the big wide world. We're back. We're live. We're streaming as always. So I hope you guys are doing well. I think you can hear the sound. Play bishop b7. Uh, let's go knight h5. Bishop b7. Just trade some bishops here. I guess I'm going to go f5 here. Maybe castles next. We'll keep it pretty simple and straightforward. Let's castle. 
Good morning to you guys too. Actually, somehow this is not the person that I just challenged out of Blitz. So it's kind of weird. I challenged somebody else and the game started with this one. Uh, let's go. Uh, I could play E5 here, actually. No, I'm not going to play E5. I guess I'll go Knight E7. If E4, I'll just play Knight F4 and hit the bishop here. Can we get E4? Play Knight F4, hit the bishop. Bishop F1. Okay, let's trade. Let's go Knight F6. Trade some Knights here, maybe. Could have played Rook F5, Rook F8 as well, but I kind of like my position. I actually have no idea who this is, by the way. Sankalp Gupta. 2975 GM. Did I make it to the Yarmir Yager double adoptions? Yes, I made it to 69. I actually got a double adoption last night, um, or towards the end of the stream yesterday as well. I probably should have taken with the Rook and gone Rook F8. But I can still line up a legendary triple stack. There's still Queen G6. It's actually quite dangerous here for White. Knight H3 is a big threat. There are all kinds of dangerous ideas here. Goes rookie three, logical. I think I'm just gonna go rookie eight, maybe, or rook f seven. Rook f seven makes sense too. Wait a second. I go rook f seven. Now what is wrong with rook f seven? I don't know. I'm gonna play rook f seven. I just want to go for a legendary triple stack, and I assume that I'm breaking through here. I don't know for a fact that I'm breaking through, but if G3, I have just knight D5 to hit the rook. If he can't go G3, well, he does it. But it should just be GG on the spot. I don't think he has any good moves. If I go bishop A6. There's also knight C3. Uh, I think just bishop A6 is good to hit the rook. I mean, he can go bishop G2. I take and play rook F8. I mean, he's still kind of surviving for a little bit, but... It's not good. Actually, yeah, let's go rook f8. I'm gonna go g5 idea to play g4. Actually, I should not have done that. Um, whatever, let's go h5 anyway. Mm, I don't like what I've done here. So go h4, try to trade some pawns. Yeah, I definitely have misplayed this. Um, queen f5. Need to trade some queens here. It's a little bit dangerous what I've done. I'm still probably winning this game, but not great. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday morning, the start of the um, weekend, or last day at work, I should say. Um, so hope you guys are doing well. Let's go king f7. Just have to be a little bit careful. Push b4, I have rook f6, knight e4. Um, Rook G8 looks. Rook G8's a move. I don't love it, but I think I'll play it anyway. If G4, I go Rook F4 here. I still have Knight F6 to try and trade the Knights as well. This position is fairly decent. I think I go Knight F6 here or Knight E7. Knight F6 looks correct. Okay, I should play G4 here to fix the weakness. And now it's just a matter of technique. I'll play A6, probably C5, maybe E5. Uh, let's just go c5, knight e3. I have rook f3. Where's d5? I just take and play rook e5. Okay, now I should win the game. Yeah, I have rook e5, and now he's he's in real trouble because of the pin. Rook e8. So let's just go c4, b5, push the pawns. Very, very straightforward win here for me. And knight c2, I can just trade the rooks. So I'm gaining three for wins, so I probably should try to adopt this guy. I have um, I have 520, uh, I believe I could take on D5. I'm just going to go E3 and D4. I have 527 adoptions and 69 double adoptions. So I want to keep trying to get more and more adoptions if possible. At least that's a plan. Actually, who is this? Sankalp Gupta. I've never heard of this guy. Must be one of the new GMs. Just castle. Could have played knight c3. I should have actually gone here right away. I don't know why I didn't do it. Just drop back. Queen e2, of course. Rook d1. All very standard stuff here. Could trade, but I think... I'm just going to go queen e2. He'll probably trade. I'll take. Thank you to Crazy Coffee Man for the 60-month Risa. Big shout out to Crazy Coffee, Coffee Man, one of the OGs who's been around forever. Thank you, thank you so much to Hey Nikolai as well for the um, for the 32 and Dr. Jammy for the 19. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, you guys. So, 
a little bit of a slow start, but yeah, at any rate, um, we are playing, playing blitz right now. Um, I'm going to go here to hit the pawn. I'm just going to spy this pawn forever and play the rook d1 and e4 here. Uh, this looks dubious to me. e4. There's also knight f3 to hit the rook. I'm a little bit surprised by this move. Also because I have queen e3. Also I've got knight f3. Wait, knight f3, rook e6, knight d4 is just good. Or do I play queen e... No, I think knight f3 is good. I've got knight d4 incoming. This looks very, very scary for black. Oh, actually, f4, rook e6, queen f2 is winning. Wait, if I go queen e3, knight c4, queen c3 is good. I think queen c3 should be winning here. Because takes, I just take, and I'm winning. There we go. Much better. So, all right, you guys. Uh, thank you, Slimetry, for the five gifted. Thank you, Slimetry. Let's take. I have rook d4 here. And then rook e1. Should just be winning. Yeah, it should be winning with rook e1. Here's Zion. Let's go again. Two up, two down. Um, let's keep going with G6, Bishop G7. Want to try to get an adoption if possible. That'd be pretty, pretty rad if I can. Let's go uh, D6. Maybe B5, Bishop B7. And Knight D7, C5 here. Very, very simple stuff. Thanks so much to Yumuvu for the eight months. Thanks so much to Yumuvu. Let's go C5 and take this. Plus seven. I think he missed Queen E2 and Queen A2 at the end there. But anyway, we're starting off with some Blitz, you guys. We will be moving to kick a little bit later on. We will, of course, be covering the Chess Champions Tour featuring Magnus Carlsen and Maxime Vashi Legrav a little bit later on as well. So it's going to be a pretty hype day. It's going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Really looking forward to that match will be starting at 12 o'clock. There's a lot of drama in Division 2 as well. Because if Vladimir, um, if Vladimir Fedosev is able to actually win in Division 2, he will um he will uh he will qualify for Division 1. Um uh, let's just go C4 Knight C5. I don't even know if this is right, but it's something to do. So, or Division 1, sorry, not qualify for Division 1. He will make it to the grand finale in Toronto. So a lot, lot of stuff on the line. There's bishop g3. Now, it takes is not a move here. Or is it? Not really. So, let's just castle, I guess. Now, takes is a move again. Takes, knight e4 is a move. Um, Wait a second. Takes, takes. Queen f4, knight takes f2. My gut says this is correct. Let's go for it. My gut says this is correct, so I'm going to go for it. Which just takes and all kinds of threats on this diagonal. Who am I cheering for? I don't really have a preference, but there's a lot of drama because basically, if um, if Maxime does not win against Magnus twice in the finals, he will not qualify um, for the grand final. Likewise, if if um, Therosev doesn't win Division One, Nepo qualifies for the grand final in Toronto as well. So it's very very murky. Very, there's a lot of drama, a lot a lot on the line. Bishop c4, what does that do? Wait, what? Knight g3? Wait, wait a second. What is this? Knight g3, rook e7, knight h5, queen h6 takes. Knight g5, rook e8 looks winning. Wait a second. Knight g3. I don't understand what this is. What is this? I just go like... Okay, this should be winning for me if I'm smart. Uh, I could just play king g7 as well. But I don't like it. I could also go bishop. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play this the safe way. I'm just gonna play this play an end game. I don't know. Knight h5, queen h6 is probably winning. There is bishop g6, maybe, but I just slide. It's a little bit unclear. Yeah, of course he plays it. Um, I move my king. 
I'm trying to figure this out. I, I should probably use more time here, but I'm trying to figure out what the idea is here for him. Let's see what he does. I think I'm okay here. There's rookie seven. Uh, I'm having deja vu. Yeah, do I think 4,000 E will be possible one day? Absolutely not. Okay, so he takes, I have rook a7, which is step one. I have rook a7, I have knight g8. Actually, knight g8 looks interesting. Knight g8, rook f7. Bishop d5 is probably good. Queen d8, rook e1. Rook g8, rook f7. I think I go rook a7. Take six, queen d6, king g7 is winning. But queen d8, I'm letting my time get a little bit too low here. Um, Bishop d5 also move here. Queen h4, king g7, bishop d3. No, that's a draw. Okay. Um, I'll go here. It goes rookie one. Of course, I trade. I go here to hit the rook. But now I can just take and drop back and go bishop h7. I should be winning here. Yeah, now, now I go here and I win. So I, I cover up my king and I go queen e7 and queen e5 and I just win the game. A little bit spicy, but we get the win. Let's go here. Go here, I guess. Draw it back. Let's go check and take, and now it's just very easy. There we go. Another win. Three up, three down. Seven to go for the uh, for the 528th adoption. Anyone who's wondering what I'm referring to, by the way, there's this thing called the Eric Rosen score. Um, which is based on, uh, let's just go, I don't know, here and here. Which is based on your score against a certain opponent. So it's like, they have like 50, it's based on all the games you've played. So uh, it's a pretty wild thing. Um, if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out. I, I don't know if the link is still saved. No, it's not here. I should have a command. Yeah, it's, um, let me find it. Uh, you know, let me get, there's a link. Okay, so here's the link, you guys. Um, it's the Eric Rosen score, so make sure you check it out if you haven't already. I can take, I'm gonna take, um, and play like, I guess, knight e5 here, maybe bishop d4, maybe c4, trade. I mean, I, I have um, just knight f3. Queen g4 is also maybe a move. I go here, pressure on the b file, knight e5, bishop d4. We'll go. What am I doing? I'm, uh, I'm thinking too long also. Let's just go here maybe. I do have 95 somewhere. I can also play rook b2. Yeah, I'm thinking, or actually let's go here and hit the bishop. This makes a lot of sense. I have bishop e5, I got 95 also. I'm thinking way too long though on every move. Okay, I just gotta move quicker. Yeah, I'm down 30 seconds. Whenever I get up on clock, yeah, this guy I'm doing well, but when I get low, bad things happen. So I just need to keep the speed going here. There's also queen g4 again. Yeah, this looks a little bit dubious to me. I don't know why, but it just does. Gonna need to pick up my speed though, for sure. Thank you to Mike the Wop for the 52 month reset. Thanks so much to Mike the Wop. Appreciate it. Thank you for the 52 months, my man. 52 months. That is a long time. Uh, let's go here and hit the pawn on D5. Oh, I could have also taken right away, maybe. There's also Bishop H3 to hit the Queen. There's also Rook H6. There are a lot of threats here. Of course, he spots that. Um, I guess I'll just sack the Rook and go Bishop D5. I don't know if this is actually good for me, but I've got a lot of threats on the diagonals. B3 is weak. And I think I have pretty decent chances here to win the game, actually. 
Queen e7. So wait, there's Queen g4? Or do I... Yeah, let's go here. Threaten the mate. So if he goes Queen g5, I'm happy to trade and take on b3. I take, I take the pawn. Now I've got two pawns. Um, I got, I've got two pawns and uh, two pawns and a rook, or two pawns and a knight for the rook. Um, play h3. Why not? I'm gonna go here, fix the pawn. Actually, I could have just played knight f3 right away. Here. Let's go here. I'm moving too slowly. Oh, did I just want to rook c2? Yikes. Let's go uh, here. Uh, I got to move. I go here, rook a7. Now it's getting messy again. I think I'm going to win this game. Maybe not win, but it's getting very tricky. Let's go here, pin the pawn. I'm still going to go knight e6 somewhere. Got d6, d7 also. I guess I'll queen. Okay, I'm up on time again. I mean... Okay, now I'm getting winning chances, I think. Check and take, and I win. There we go. I wanted that away. But... All right, four up, four down. Let's keep going. We're going to probably move to kick after this game and keep going with the show, though. For everybody who's watching, hope you guys are doing well on this very fine Friday morning. We will, of course, be covering the match between Maxime and Magus in Division 1 at noon. At 11, there's uh, Fedose versus Artemiev in the Losers, so we're going to be covering that as well. Um, play here, kick the knight. I guess I'll trade and go like knight f6, hit the pawn. There is e5, but I think I just castle. There's also bishop c6 to hit the pawn. Let's go e5. Good knight bd7 all very standard let's go d5 smash the center here a lot of chaos i should be completely fine here actually will there be a reddit react i'm not sure thank you Geltex, for the 24 months thank you so much to powder hound for the 27 freeman for the 20 tomska for the 14 and gamer 666 for the 35 bishop h6 okay so he's trying to trade the bishops um i can trade pawns on d4 i don't really want to do that i think rookie eight this looks very solidly sound here Probably gonna trade the bishops if I had to guess. Have I say, played Cena Movaha, the guy who destroyed Daniel? I have played him at Blitz. Yeah, he's a very, very strong junior player. He's 13 years old. Uh, I played him in Title Tuesday recently. And I, I gave you guys my thoughts. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Right now, his rating is like 20. His rating is like 24, 20 or something. It's very straightforward in my opinion. He's either. Um... Wait a second. Takes. Just making sure there are no weird tricks with like Knight H5s or anything. Okay, so he just takes. Okay, so now there is knight before here. I just have to be careful about the structure. The knight before looks fine. I just have to be careful here. Uh, I, I basically gave you guys, um, uh, I gave you guys the uh, my, my general thoughts. It's, it's very very straightforward as far as Cena Movahead is concerned. He's um, wait, trade in C five looks like looks decent. Let's go. 
I'm just making sure there are no tricks here with any night jumps, basically. That's what I'm making sure of. Um, I mean, I could have played C6, C5, too. That made sense also, just kick the bishop. But regardless, um, I'm going to go C4. It's a little bit risky to push the P here with C4, but I think it's good because I've got... Okay, he goes knight G5, which I don't like at all. Um, Rook C8, why not? It's going to go knight E4. Or did I blunder that? I did allow that, but I have queen f6. Queen h4, h6. Queen c7 also is a move. Uh, yeah, so, sorry, I got sidetracked. What I was starting to say about the player Cena Movahead is, I mean, basically his rating right now is like 24, 2430 or something. Um, if, uh, if his rating stops here, I'm going to have strong suspicions, but I expect his rating to continue gapping up towards like 2,500 in the very near future. I think he's completely legitimate personally. Um, so I expect his rating to start gapping up towards there, but again, we will see if that's what happens or doesn't happen. Maybe even Mr. Presidential Row, he goes there. Wait, now I go C3. Uh, what do I think of Nihal Streak and Bullet Brawl? Bullet Brawl is busted actually. And I, I mean, maybe people are thinking I'm being salty, but Bullet Brawl is just busted. The pairing format is there's something wrong with the algorithm or whatever it is. Um, because like Nihal, for example, and I, we played only one time very early in the event and that was it. We did not play ever again in the Bullet Brawl and we were number one and two for a very long time. Nihal was playing a lot of 1900s. I was also playing a lot of 1900s as well. Uh, it's busted. Plain and simple, the pairing brawl is just busted. Um, it's just busted. Actually, Dan is in chat too. Yeah, it's just flat out busted. There's like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, oh, he's going to sack? Okay, so I'll go check. It's just completely busted. I don't, I mean, again, I'm not chess.com. I can't tell them what to do, but in my, in my opinion, they need to fix it. There's, it's very clearly busted, and I don't know what the solution is, but there, there's just something wrong with the format. It's, it's just that simple. Um, and I'm not happy about it. Daniel's not happy about it. I don't think anybody's happy about it. Also, when I look at the bullet bullet brawl, every single bullet brawl I played, even the ones where Daniel's won or Nihal's won, there has been zero drama in the last 20 minutes. It has been over. The, the event has been clearly decided long before, um, um, long before, long before the, uh, long before the, the final bell. Wait, do I have knight c2 and knight d4? Actually, I do, because the knights hang on c5. Alabama. So yes, there's something wrong. There's something wrong with the with the um, something wrong with the pairing system. I mean, again, I'm not the one who programs. It. I don't know what they're doing or not doing. Um, but yes, there there are there are problems. So it, it's not good. Let's leave it at that. It's it, it's it's a serious problem. Let's go check and rook f3. Let's take. I'm gonna go rook h6 at the pawn. Win another game. All right, we have time for one more. Let's do one more, uh, and then I'm going to move to kick. MVL is better than you. His ter his results in this tournament have been better, but he's been significantly worse than me for the last three years. Thank you, Chef Bukaki, the organic primate. So I don't know why you're trying to stir drama, but um, cool, cool story, bro. Um, let's go here and play Knight BD2. Yeah, cool story, bro. <laughs> I mean, cool story. Like, Jesus. Let's go Bishop G2. I know it's a troll, obviously. This guy's not being serious, but it's still kind of weird. Kind of weird, champ. Not going to lie. Uh, Ronaldo is better than you. I mean, I would hope Ronaldo's better than me at soccer. If Ronaldo's not better than me at soccer, I mean, we need to re re revisit that system, too. This looks slightly wrong. Do I have B4 or something? Queen A4, Knight D7, castles. I'm gonna go for something unusual with before. I don't know if this actually works, but I'm gonna go for it. it it's it feels like something's off with this move, but I, I can't quite pinpoint it. So okay, it just goes b6. Wow, I did not expect that. Um just take then. I can take on f6, I can also castle. Um D actually d4 is all wait, d4 is also a move here. Wait. Yeah, let's go d4. And now I get to trade and go queen a4. Now I should be better here. Queen c1, queen d1 at the end. Queen B2, hard to judge. Oh, actually, I've got Bishop C6 after Knight D7. Ah, wait. Ah, wait, wait, wait. After here, takes, 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 Queen A4, Knight D7. I have Bishop C6 because Castles takes, check, I block. Aha, uh -huh, wait. Actually, I might be in serious business now. I might be in real business. 
But jokes aside about MVL, to be clear, I'm very happy that he's doing well because MVL has had a very, very rough last couple of years. Uh, he's a very strong player, obvious. Oh, wait, he's got 97 anyway. Wait, wait, wait a second. Ah, uh, Bishop B4 is a good move, actually. Like, a very good move. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's a good move that I missed. Um, I think I have to castle. Nah, I didn't want to do this. I could have traded rooks first, I guess, but eh. I guess I'm going to take and go like E3 and just play this position and pretend that it's like fine. Oh, did I just hang C? Oh, I've got queen B2. What am I doing? Should have just gone 94, of course. I'm still okay, but now I have 94, actually. 94. Eh. Bishop e4 takes check, check, f5. No tactics. All right, let's just go for it. Let's just force him to trade. Yeah, queen a4 check and queen b4, but there's queen c1 with the ice skater on the back rank. That's why that's why bishop b4 was such a good move. Uh, do I trade the rooks or take the bishop? I don't actually know, so I'm just going to take the bishop. Because f5. Um, I think I'm going to put the bishop on this diagonal. It just feels like somehow I should try to break the structure eventually. Like maybe queen h5 back, maybe g4, maybe d5 somewhere. I go g4, f4 takes. It's probably good for me, but I don't see the win, so um, too slow. Just pick up the speed. I guess actually, no, I think I'm going to put the bishop on b3 here. Because now d5, yeah, now I go d5 and I open up this. Actually, this is very smart by me because now I'm going to get a diagonal. I have queen h5 again. And this looks really, really bad for black. Really bad. The double pawns. Oh, I missed rook c1. Of course, but I have queen h5. Oh my god, I missed queen d3. Oh my god, I missed queen d3. What the heck? I saw queen... I didn't see queen d3. Oh my god, that's so bad. 